I got a chance to take the iPhone 11 Pro camera for a spin this weekend. And you could put your mommy to bed because I've got a new way to get red to. Oh, as well as some conversation about the new Apple Watch. It's time for iOS today. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. iOS Today is brought to you by Calm, the number one app to help reduce your stress, relax your mind, and help you sleep. Get 25% off a Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash iOS Today. And by Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile provides the same premium network coverage you're used to, but at a fraction of the cost because everything's online. Mint Mobile makes it easy to cut your wireless bill down to just $15 a month with their three-month introductory plan. And get it shipped right to you for free at mintmobile.com slash iOS. And by Aftershocks, unbelievably comfortable open-ear headphones. Hear music and crystal clear phone calls like never before. Visit iostoday.aftershocks.com and use the code iOS today for $50 off the tech bundle. Put your mommy to bed. Put your mommy to bed. <laughs> I don't know where I came a up with that one. A new way to get red to. A new way to get red to. Uh, it was today time. Hello, everybody. I'm Leo Laporte. And I'm Micah Sargent. And this is the show where we talk about where's your sticker? I haven't had a chance to put it on yet. <laughs> I brought you a special sticker. A beautiful, lovely sticker. And, and you don't use I don't know if it'd fit, actually. I've been I wondering that, too. it's not going to fit. Well, see, there's enough room It's going to be tight. You might have to cut off the top of the twist <gasps> head. Or I can just go without the gear. We like to time. have uh, stickers that represent our little company on the our back little of our company. iPads. Yeah. It is a little company. And when you support us, you're supporting the caster and their family. <laughs> And we thank you. That's what it says on this card. Yeah. Uh, today, we're you're, going to talk about... I'm sorry. I just thought that's like a big business card to fit in your big wallet. It is. Yeah. I got. I just got a brand... Oh, we shouldn't really digress <laughs> about my wallet. I got a new wallet from a little guy. This is actually literally the Little Kingdom, uh -huh. little, littlekinggoods.com. And uh, Renee Ritchie told me, because it's in Canada, the guy makes them by hand. And so he sent me a little thank you note that's you know, really sweet saying, thank you for supporting our little company. So I said, said we should probably do that from now on. Mm -hmm. We want to thank you for supporting our little podcast network and all the little casters. All the little casters. Today we're going to... all little families. Yeah, because it isn't cheap to keep this little family oh. in brand new iPhones and Apple Watches. And, oh, I turned on my flashlight. You ever do that by accident? Not once. I'm kidding. I have. So I don't have the new watch, but interestingly enough, mm -hmm. you do. Yes. And honestly, this Series 4 watch is almost identical to Series 5 watch with one little exception. One, three little three exceptions. With two, three with four little... Oh, he's got three. Four. There's three little exceptions. All right, there's what three is, that I know of. One is the always on face. Yes. How are you liking that? It's on, it's on. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. But I want... Getting right into it. I think that they should have a setting uh, where it's scheduled. After this right, point in time, who cares if it's always on in the, in the middle of the night or because whatever? Because I do wear mine to bed uh, yeah. for sleep tracking. And you don't want it, and you don't want it. I on. don't need to have it on for that yeah. point. I'd yeah. like to have the battery even less. But I've been uh, trying out some different faces and seeing how they uh, look in here. I, you have an analog face today. I do. Which I like. I'm very analog. Let's see if yeah. we can't. Uh... Is that a new face? You should actually show us nope. the new face. This is the California face, which. That is new. Is I have new, never seen new that. New to iOS 13, yeah. Um, and this face, well, let's see. I'll just type. He's got to unlock it because you took it off your wrist. Took it off my yeah. wrist. Um, and you can see, so this is the currently, this is on, on. And then if I, it's going to be kind of hard to show. Yeah. So basically what happens whenever it goes, it gets no, dim. I'm talking to you. It, it gets, gets dim. dim. The seconds go away. The yeah. second hand goes away. Yeah. And for some faces. The, oh, you can now just swipe face. Yeah. For some faces, the, the screen will actually get smaller as well. Ah, oh, interesting. Uh, which I found... Like that one probably because it's got so many pixels. Right. It's taking up a lot of energy and you can see that second hand that it's going to go away. Yeah. The other thing you should keep in mind is <clears throat> the reason they were able to get this great battery life is this ha they have this new LTPO screen that can go down to a one kilohertz, ref one hertz refresh rate, mm -hmm. once per uh, second refresh rate. 
And so the thing you should keep in mind is not only does the second hand go away because you can't do a sweep second hand, right? You could go click, 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 I guess. But your watch may be as much as a minute off because it isn't always updating anymore, right? right? So you mm -hmm. may look at your watch and say, well, it's really 945, but it hasn't jumped yet. Mm. So that's something you should be aware of. That's just the difference in the refresh rate. Your watch is not less accurate. Correct. Yeah. Once you pop it back over, then you can see uh, immediately. And I've, I've noticed that it is very accurate in terms of that switch from, from off to on. Nice. I've not had any issues with that. And there's also a nice functionality that whenever it's on the sleep face, if I tap it, it'll go back to always on. Um, Why do they call it the California faces? That's because it's half Roman numerals, half Arabic numerals. Yeah, so that's specific to the, that yeah, this, this very style. strange. Is that, is that, is it's that what the, the kids like these days? I don't know, but that's a that's a watch thing. The California face is oh, is a, okay. a yeah. And see, because the twelve is not it, well. I know I'm not doing a very good job here, but the twelve is not a twelve. It's a triangle. We've got symbols for the three, the nine, and the six, and then we've got some uh, Arabic numerals and some Roman numerals. So yeah, if you look up the term California watch face, then that's the style there, yeah. uh, which is different from... Uh, they've also got options, though, to do Roman numerals uh, or Arabic numerals instead of that. So actually, you know, another way we could show these faces... There we go. That's a great way. ...is just to do it on the... Uh on the iPhone. And if you tap face gallery uh, down at the bottom middle, then it we should could, show we you. You can see a whole bunch of them, huh? Where's yeah. the face gallery? Down at the middle bottom. It's a... Uh, the middle... Oh, this? Yeah, on the toolbar. Oh, look at that. New in watch OS. There's Meridian... Here's the California. Ooh, I like modular compact. Yeah, I've, I think I've got that one loaded up. That's interesting because it has a, a an analog face. Are, you're an analog guy, which kind of surprises me because people I thought of your age... Don't know how to read a clock? Couldn't read a... I call them a pie face clock. <laughs> that's, a, that's interesting. Yeah, but you can. Yeah. Look but how big that numeral is. Oh. So that is an analog face with a giant hour. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the examples of a face where you see how it's filled in. The, the numerals are filled in with yeah, color. Yeah. When it goes into the sort of always on mode, it uh, turns into, scroll down a little bit Look to that, style. That's an Arabic or Ooh, Indic. Ooh, now that's neat. Here's uh, Devanagari. Who? And here's Roman numerals. All right. Because the Romans are so popular. <laughs> yeah, still to this so day. So many of them. Mm-hmm. That's, that's kind of graphically interesting. And then you can change the there. style to an outline. So outline is what happens that's the dark automatically face. when you go to yeah. sleep face. Okay. Uh, but you can set it like that from the beginning. I might like make it like a kind of a dim. The colors are very odd. Named. Um, Purple. Well. Ocean blue. Midnight blue. That green that you were on blue. was like barrel, I think is what they called it. Barrel? Barrel yeah. roll? Yeah, do a barrel roll. Green, it was, spearmint, mm, mint, see, barrel, O-B-E-R-Y-L. That's, that's a, like barrel. I think it's a flower. Oh. Turquoise. <laughs> oh, I've never heard of that one. Light blue. Huh. This is interesting. Oh, it's a mineral composed of beryllium aluminum cyclosilicate oh, with the chemical a chemical formula. A aluminum. This. Dragon fruit. Yeah, it looks like a dragon. See, those are like paint chip names. You yeah. Yeah. Which is I'm going to go with antique white. Oh, come so on. Let me, <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, come That's on. That's the worst choice. What? You're the one who was talking about all the different flavors of, of, yeah. of white. So antique white the is thing. the worst. Soft white. No, no. See, you, pebble. Oh, I like pebble. There's so many flavors and you went with white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know why? Because I want it to kind of be uh, sit behind. I, I don't see. want it to be. In fact, maybe I'll go with you want uh, it very subtle. dark olive. Yeah, I don't want a color. Khaki. Pine green. Yeah, no, I think I really liked the uh, antique white. I think it sits behind the uh, the hands quite nicely. That's I'm going to add that. Of course, you can customize that later. Duo has the hours and the minutes, but no no hands. Gradient. That's, Look, Ma, no hands. Ooh, solar dial. Now, no, what that is, one's fun. What is that doing? That's showing you Where sunrise. the sun be? Yeah. Where the sun be, exactly. Once again, not... Is it animated? Uh, animated? Well... You can see it on mine. It's kind of not. I, I see it. It's, I, I, I can see it. I don't now know if it, I can't. does it animate on there, though. I could see it. No. No, but it would animate. See, I've got a digital clock in the middle, but you can switch that to animate. I wonder about the modular. What is that going to be doing there? 
Yeah, I think yeah. that's a waste of a big circle. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I don't like that face. I do. I understand why you chose California. That's kind of cool. It's gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's got a, a triangle. It's the first Apple Watch face with a California dial and mix. Why do they call it a California? It's like a California burger. Let's see. It has meat and salad on a bun. Is California. that why? It's kind of like we're confused. That's definitely what it is. What ain't? What ain't? <laughs> what, what do they say? San Francisco is like go. granola. In watch making, what the California flakes and nuts is fruits. Clock face. Isn't that, isn't that what they say? I can tell you the <laughs> you, real answer, Leo. You can hit me if you want. <laughs> I'm, I can tell you the real answer. What's the like. real answer? Uh, <laughs> so, da, 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 replace with a dash and the numeral, blah, blah, blah. Use of this dial dates back to the 1930s. Oh. Uh, a number of Rolexes were refurbished by a company oh, based in California using this style of dial, resulting in the Rolex. name California Dial. Uh. You can get it uh, in the same California face. You can get it with pills, mm -hmm. Roman. So, yeah. so you don't have to do the California California face. or Arabic. Yep. And the yeah. Arabic is gorgeous too, in my opinion. Or Indic. Now, Ooh. that's new. I kind of like that. It's fun. It's different. I kind of like that. And Devon Agari, would you do your Wikipedia foo and tell me what that is? Yeah. Tell me about how that's spelled. D A V A N A G A R I. Lots of A's. G A R I? Yep. All right. Found it. Devanagari. It looks like I don't know what it is. N it's also called Nakari. It's based on the ancient Brahmi script used in the Indian subcontinent. So these are both uh, Indian. Ancient languages. India from the first to the fourth century. I kind of like it though. It kind of looks like um, runes <gasps> 14 vowels and 33 consonants. That's all anybody should ever need. One of the most adopted writing systems in the world and wow. used in over 120 languages. Look at that. Wow. See? All right, I'm using that one. I'm Ooh, adding that one. No California of, Devonagari. No concept of letter case uh, for... No, I have one. no concept of letter case. Neither either. do I. Yeah. So uh, there's all the Californias. Oh, there's other Californias. Yeah, so you can actually make the California full face or uh, circular. Yeah. And when you make it circular, Cheers. then you get lovely complications around the outside. Now, there's one other thing that's different. Oh, you said you were going to say three things that your watch can do that mine can't. So yes. one is always on. One is always on. Two is compass. Compass. I can't do compass? You can't do compass. Because I don't have, I don't have the compass uh, capabilities. <laughs> okay, you're right. No compass. Oh, God. Look at his. That's so difficult to show. So... Is that different than the compass on the phone? Because I have a compass on the phone too. Well, it's I don't. I In fact, the tell compass you. on the phone gives you even. It gives you elevation. I got elevation. Tells you. Oh, you do have all that. Do you have incline? I don't have. I'm not inclined. Oh snap! You're not inclined to tell me your current <laughs> inclination. Um. So yours has inclination. This has. This has declination. Mm -hmm. uh, Long guy Lahaho. Mm -hmm. City and elevation. <laughs> Mine doesn't have city. It doesn't uh, have a city, but you do have Longa Laha. I do have Longa Laha. <laughs> okay. And it does say right there, compass can be affected by magnetic materials in some watch bands. They say that on the bands too. Don't get the magnetic bands. I'm 50 feet above ground. Now, you, you put it so you can read it, but put it so oh, we boy. can read it. I'm trying, really. But your neck is in the way. I know. Everything is in the way. Yeah. Look at that. So yes. what is your inclination right now? Well, it depends on how I incline. So okay. this is uh, 30, 42 degrees, but if I move it back toward this, then it changes to 16 degrees. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so that's how you're tilted. Yes, and you can edit the bearing. I like that because I always, you know, they're always saying, oh, like this road is a 3% grade. Yeah, what's that even mean? And bro? I always wonder, what's that mean? What's that mean? 3% grade. Do you even grade, bro? Tell, tell me the inclination. Yeah. So now I'll know. Yeah, bro. What? Um, okay, is that three thing, things? That no. Two. What's the third one? The third thing is that I have... Do you even incline? <laughs> um, I'm waiting for you to send me overseas so that I can try this. Um, it's international emergency call. Oh, I love that. Because it's different in, in every country, right? Yes. So we have 911 in the States, but uh -huh. it's not 911 in England. No, it's 97432. Stroke one. Dash. Seven. K? Oh. K. Yeah. Something <laughs> like that. So... It's handy that the watch knows all of those. Yes. Yeah, so knows watch, where you are. Stroke K. So I don't get the stroke K on this. No. If I have a stroke, it'll call US. <laughs> it's going to say 911 help. Help. And well, but here's. And then I also have to do this here's really the thing. silly thing. This is specific to the uh, watch itself. So if you went with your watch without your phone, it would do emergency calling. But I imagine because you, assuming you had your phone with you, because you also carry nine know? pounds of keys and everything right. else, your phone, phone know. knows what the emergency. So 
Two of those those three things my phone does. Correct. Actually, the only thing that's different really is the always on. Is the always on. And so uh, those a couple of people in the chat room saying, well, should I, I have a Series 4? Should I get the 5? No. No. No, no, no. In no, fact, no. one of the reasons Apple discontinued the 4 is they're so similar. Exactly. Unless always on is like. Is very important to you. The big thing. Or you are also doing a podcast, in which case, get out of my chat. We should. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you. <laughs> we should. We should. Okay. Siri Siri said that's not nice. I heard that. Yeah. Wow. Rude. I love it that Siri is now commenting on Micah's <laughs> that's not bad nice. manners. That's not nice. <laughs> uh, I should point out that if you say, oh, but I live in Lithuania, I want my watch to call the proper emergency number. If you live in Lithuania, it, you, yes. will, you will have the proper number. It's only if you're traveling to say you came to the U.S., mm -hmm. then you would want it to, to know 911. And, and honestly, probably that's the problem is that in every country it's different and you don't know necessarily what the emergency number is. So I, I really like that feature. I'm traveling in a month to uh, a number of countries. Okay. So I will test it. Good. Because yeah, my yeah, new yeah, watch comes on Friday. Friday. That's oh, okay. Good. Friday. Yeah. It's Friday. Excellent. Um, Let's also talk about the phones. Yes. Now, I think we thought, oh, wait a minute. We didn't show the most important new feature that everybody. I don't know if everybody's getting it. If you got Watch OS 6, right? Mm -hmm. Finally, there is a standalone app store. Oh, that's right. On yes. the watch, which is kind of cray cray because it's not, it's hard to read. Mm -hmm. Right? No. No, you can read that? Yeah. So here's great on Watch OS 6. So if you can upgrade OS 6, and I'm not sure which watches can, calm.com, our sponsor, we do love them. Waterminder, a daily water reminder. Don't forget to drink your water. Streaking workout. That's workout naked. Yes, that is what it says. Yazio, diet and food tracker. I hear very good things about Yazio. I've never heard of Yazio. Yeah. I was just reading, it does keto too and keto and fasting. Uh, Red point, bouldering and climbing. Oh, yeah, if you're bouldering. <sighs> now that's kind of neat. You need a watch that'll know. That'll know about your bouldering. Always love carrot weather. So let's just see. I'm going to download carrot weather. I have this watch has LTE built in, so I wouldn't even be need to be next to. Oh, it's going to charge me for this. Mm. No, no, I think I bought it once before. That's two ninety nine. The next one, I think. Oh, the next one's two ninety nine. What is that? Lumi? Lumi. What's Lumi? Track photographic times. Oh, like golden hour and stuff. Yeah, Calzi, the smart calculator, my currency pro converter card point. So there's, so you can go to the store. You can actually download standalone, and if you have, here's carrot weather. Look at that. Allow Carrot Weather to access, yes, while using app. I love this new feature. Me Isn't too. that great? Mm -hmm. I always say allow while using app unless I can think of a compelling reason that it should know the location when the app is yes. not running. Yes, I do like notifications for weather, so I do have it set to always allow. But um, like you said, even <clears> Maps <throat> apps don't really need to know your location while you're not using them. So Carrot Weather is known as the annoying weather app, and now I see why. Oh, come what on. What the hell weather is that? No, it's loading. Oh, Right it's now. loading its icons. Yeah, but usually it doesn't take that long. See, I well, have. Remember, a, we're doing this on the watch, and that's what's different. I have Carrot Weather is the one that I use, and I have a snarky. complication that's already set up. That's what it normally looks like. Nice, and it, does it talk to you? Uh, you can set it to talk to you. I that's that's that taking too a, long. It should that not would be, be a battery long. killer. Well, again, this is always the issue with. Uh, running apps on the watch and loading, I guess now we know, loading apps on the watch is the watch isn't a super fast processor. So, no, not at all. Um, we're just uh, gonna, try gonna, force this, pressing on it. This could be my new watch face. Now choose locations. Oh, maybe it was looking for where I am. Ah, there we go. I had a location. Oh, done. <laughs> <laughs> I had a location. <laughs> Rock Springs? <laughs> well, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> if you say I had a location, it'll give you Rock Springs, Wyoming. No, oh, there, oh it's, so, there we go. Look at that. Oh, wait, no, Rock, Rock Springs, Springs is foggy this morning. <laughs> Can I get rid of Rock Springs? Yes, choose locations again. Please. Uh, let's, do I swipe it? Do Maybe I... hold down? Maybe. I, I, have no I will now have the weather <laughs> for Rock Springs, Wyoming. Forever. Forever. Here's the settings. Data source. Oh, it's interesting. It's getting the weather from Dark Sky, mm -hmm. another app which I have on here. So do why do I need carrot? Because it's snarky, right? Yes. Oh, what personality? Professional? Oh, friendly, no. snarky. I have mindset. Homicidal, to homicidal. Yeah. or overkill. Oh boy, that one gets really rough. You really? Might, yeah, you might have to blur. And I'm gonna turn on speech. Oh boy. And uh We're let's doing see this the weather. Live, folks. Now I could choose other weather sources, maybe. If you have the app, you have to have the uh, app as well. Okay, yeah. let's close that. 
It's smurfing sunny biatches, is what it's saying. <laughs> yeah. I like that. It likes to use the F word a lot if you said it really? to, uh, to overkill. Yeah. That's mean. How do I get <laughs> rid of rock? I really want to get rid of rock springs now. I swear to God, I got to get rid of this. <laughs> Jesus LARPing. What? That's profane. Mm -hmm. I, I believe it. You. I like it. Okay. <laughs> um, so there is the bi another big difference with OS 6, which you may have, depending on... I can't... I don't remember which... Watch uh, OS 6? What do you mean? Which watches get 6. Oh. I know one Series 0 and one do not, do not I believe. Yeah. Series 0 especially. We could say for Nothing four happens with Series 0 anymore. Poor Series 0. That's the one where... Many of you spent $25,000 for solid gold. <laughs> Many of A you. A solid gold wristwatch. You know, I think if I were Apple, I would send a note. You wouldn't maybe announce this, but I would send a note to all these people who spent $20,000 mm -hmm. on a solid gold Apple Watch Series Zero and say, you know, we we're could sorry. put a new, we could put new, yeah, at least we're sorry. We could put, wait a minute, here it is. Thank you. <laughs> we could put, we could put a new guts in it, right? Yeah. Just take it out. And if they had to, like, they could, if you did it and you got the, so it's a solid gold, 24 karat gold band and a, and a container. If you opened it up, you put the new guts in and maybe you had to like hollow it out a little bit more because the new guts are bigger. Yeah, so, oh. Include a little plastic bag with the gold shavings <laughs> yeah, you go. when you send it back so that I could, you know, monetize it. An option to make it into an earring. Or make it an earring. Oh, that's good. You yeah. could give them options. Yeah. Like, would you like an earring? Would you like a... a what would you like with the extra gold as we hollow out your... Your your band. Um, Watch OS six is not yet available for Apple Watch Series one and Apple Watch Series two, but will be later this fall. That's really good news. So yeah, all the, the way real back issue to one. though will be how uh, performant it will be because I exactly. think that's the problem. These processors do definitely get better, and there's also the battery life gets better over mm -hmm. time. So, um, all right, all right. Now distractions. How can we turn those off? There's no way. You can't turn off notifications I, on the Apple Watch. You can't? I'm kidding. I'm oh, kidding. Oh, please. I'm kidding. I think the first thing you do when you get your brand new iPhone is uh -huh. go through your notifications and really be selective. And, and you know, I wish there were a button that says, turn off all notifications. Turn off all bad. There is that. But turn but, off all bad. And then let me go through them one by one. Oh, I see. So restart. Restart. Yeah. Well, the way it starts is with everything on. Yes. Now, I was pleased. So remember we had this debate. Yeah, I was about to ask you about restore, that. Restore to restore or to do a clean install? Which is which is that it? That is the question. So I'll tell you what I did. I started with a clean install. Okay. And I an hour later, I'm still going through the apps one by one saying, add that one. Yeah, no, <laughs> add that one. And then <clears throat> it didn't know anything. It didn't know any passwords. I got so frustrated I, I went into the settings and I wiped the thing Erase and I said restore percent. for my app my iCloud backup because I just it was too much trouble and you see this way all the folders are preserved everything and you know it's not like I mean I, yeah I have over two hundred apps on here but it's not like look I got five twelve storage mm -hmm. it's I mean I'm not it's not too bad so I just I feel like this is um, this is this is I'm not gonna don't do a clean install. Whether it is nobler in the mind do to not, suffer the sleeves do not and do a clean, of a clean install. Look, I'm only using 66.9 gigabytes of 512. I have plenty, plenty of space. Of, I think I'm using more than you. I wonder why. Well, I did go through here and delete large. So uh, this is in the usage thing, and it's definitely a great idea to look at your iPhone storage and say, you know, I don't need 15 gigs of music or whatever. You see, it's mostly music and audio books. 275 gigs I'm using. Wow. See, it's good you got the big phone. It is good. I could have got the 128. Oh, now. wait. This is on iCloud. I mean, you mean, you're talking specifically this on, is the on the phone. Oh, okay. Let's see about that. Go to general That's phone different. storage. Bum, bum. That's control center. <laughs> I'm using. Oh, you're using oh, a lot. Wow. Look at the. Look at you. Oh, go. wait. No, it, it dropped down. Okay. Oh, sure. that's interesting. That was weird. So, do you enable offload unused apps? Yes, I do. See, I don't. Because I don't want to go to an app and suddenly say, oh, oh it's, not it's off of here. Sure, I haven't used it in six months, but I want it now. <laughs> now I want it, yeah. yeah. I want it all. So I do disable that. and because This isn't, by the way, don't get me started on these 
settings menus because they're insane. Mm. And why is the one you're going to go to the most general mm. way All the hell the way down, down here? There. Underneath and everything. it's not alphabetical or anything. It's just there. So you kind of have you you almost have to memorize this. Mm -hmm. Now people will say, "Oh no, you can search." Yeah, so but... I was so Lisa's download, I mean offload apps was turned on, and she didn't understand. She said, "Why am I getting a little cloud?" Oh. <clears throat> so I said, "Oh well, let's search for offload." You only see this uh. if it's not enabled. Wow. So I searched for it, and you can't find it. That seems like a bug. Uh, maybe it is a bug. And, and we should mention that we are still using 13.0. Today, at some point, we will get 13.1. Everybody should immediately upgrade. Because not mm -hmm. only is there the security flaw we talked, maybe we talked about last week, which is that people, with, without your phone being unlocked, can get information about your contacts with extreme amounts of fiddling. So just don't let anybody fiddle with your phone don't, until you get 13.1. Yeah. No phone fiddling. No phone fiddling allowed. Um, so yeah, so this, in other words, the search, which is really the only way you can find stuff, to me, is is not even that good, and I, and 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 that's one of the problems is that enable is only there if it's dis if it's in, it's enable if it's disabled if it's not enabled there's no setting there so I'm searching and searching trying to find it and you have to go to apps to to find it. I also don't like this ad. Yeah, that, that I can't get rid of. I did not buy Apple Care Plus. I do not want Apple Care Plus. Sam, I am. For the next 52 days, I'm going to see add Apple Care Plus. Now, wait. Can you tap into it and say, I don't want it? Not now. Oh, you are so good. This is why I watch this show. <laughs> <laughs> you are so good. So I went into it, which I've been avoiding doing. Right. right? Which is understandable. <laughs> because I didn't want to accidentally buy it. Right. Uh, and it and you can say enable, big, big, big button, enable, or a little, as you saw, a little text yeah, button says not now. And not now there. does get rid of that ad. Thank goodness. Not now. Thank goodness. Uh, I. So what's your overall take on the phone? All right. So first of all, loving this phone. As you can see, I'm who running caseless. Um, oh, you are brave. You know why I don't run caseless? Not so much because I'm worried about this new matte finish because they say it is more durable, but the camera bump. Yeah. So uh, I just took off my case and I just got a little clear case. So it still looks pretty good. But because this case is raised, I can now lie my phone flat. You raise I don't my get, bump. I don't get wobbliness. Do you yes. get wobbliness when you... Well, let's see. Put your phone over here. Well, no, it's not wobbly. But it also makes me nervous that it's sitting on that. Yeah, but those are uh, sapphire lenses. Oh, they are? I'm fairly, I'm like 99.7% well, certain. Okay, it? so that this is pretty. Pretty tough. Pretty tough. Tough stuff. Let's try, let's just see. Oh I my mean, God. <laughs> even, oh, okay. How tough is it? <laughs> it's like, what's he got over there? <laughs> I'm putting it in some Excelsior. That's what we call that. Did you know that? No. Why do you call it that? That's what it's called. That's that's called Excelsior. That's such a cool you name for something so You have to be a so really stupid. old person to know that because in the old days, now it's made out of paper. It's just little paper shavings. This is from the packaging of a giant wallet that I just bought. Um, but in the old days, it was wood shavings, oh. and it was called Excelsior. I, I'm... <laughs> Did you understand that reference? Yes. It was a little cameo. Every time there's a Marvel movie, yes, he appears. No, it was uh, it was what's his name? Yeah, uh, he's dead now. I forgot. I, yeah, well, Stan Lee. Um, Stan Lee. It's Stan Lee's motto, Excelsior. But this was a Marvel movie. That's the part I don't understand. Yeah. I don't get that reference. I'm Iron Man. Oh, you are Ant Man. <laughs> that's Ant Man. <laughs> I am the Black Panther. Oh, okay, that's good. Wakanda forever. Can't do it because. It, yeah, there's a, my microphone. There you go. Yeah, microphone in the way. I do. I every once in a while, I want to just say that. Wakanda. Wakanda, Wakanda forever. forever. Yeah. Every once in a while. I just Do you ever have that urge? No. No? Just but me? I don't have Stanley cameos in my life. Yeah. So, so uh, the reason I put your phone on Excelsior is just to see if the lens gets smushed up with gunk. Mm-hmm. Of course, well, mine would too on the Excelsior. And too, if you rub your finger on it, that will sort of, thank you so much. Love that. <laughs> 
I'm cleaning it. Yeah, I love that so much. You know, the Samsung phones, it's so easy because the fingerprint reader on the old Samsung phones is right next to the lens. Oh, no. They seriously. actually, you, you always <laughs> rub the lens and then went, oops, and then locked it. They they actually have a warning when you launch the camera on the Samsung, uh, older Samsung phone saying, you'll get better pictures if you clean the lens. <laughs> That's amazing. So let me do this as a favor to you. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I'm going to cry. <laughs> See? Shiny and new. So you think that sapphire, it's so tough. It probably is. Mm -hmm. It's so tough that you're not worried about putting this on a desk? No. See, I like the idea that no, on I'm my case, I'm not going to pull a Renee Ritchie and put it on concrete and things like that. She would do that. Yeah. But this does on a scratch table up. and everything. This, this new, what do you think of this new matte oh, finish? Oh, I love the matte finish. I do too. I, I've been doing just... Running my finger along it. Here's the funny part. It. The, of course, the previous iPhone, this was glass. Mm -hmm. One would think this would be less slippery. In fact, the glass is less slippery. Yeah, I was disappointed with that. Yeah. I was hoping that this matte finish was going to be less slippery, but it's not. It's more slippery. That's why I carry this in a rubber. So I have one of these. Apple makes them now, the clear TPU cases. For Apple 40 makes bucks. them for 40 bucks. I bought a $7 one on a Amazon. It works just fine. Uh, and I, I always put all my phones in these. Because it just protects it against scratches and stuff. And and it and it doesn't hide the, the well, it hides it a little bit. The light. It really, this phone is so beautiful. It is. Now, when you look at your green, black, ugly phone. Oh, my God. And the black uh, surgical uh, it's stainless green, steel. It's green surgical stainless steel. Is it? Surgical steel. And you steel. compare that to, to a my state. lovely gold. Oh, where are we? Here we go. <laughs> To my lovely gold. Don't you think the gold is prettier? Go ahead, angle Not it. prettier. Don't cheat. Don't cheat me. Not prettier. Don't cheat me of my luster. They're both gorgeous. Yeah, I guess so. It depends what you like. You, if you like what I like, then you like the then green. Then you like green. If you like what Leo likes. Nobody likes green. Leo likes a gold toilet and a gold <laughs> phone. It matches my toilet. Yeah. I now, think it's important. I will say, I was at a... Uh, I was in San Jose, yes, over the weekend, and I was standing in line, um, and there was a person, So this was like a long line, and there was a person to the right of me in line going the opposite way to, to continue in the line, and I saw out of the corner of my eye, he noticed my phone. Yeah, people do. It's very obvious when you have that triple. And he started to say something, but he yeah. didn't keep going, and so I was like, you know what? I'm not. I'm not going to acknowledge that that happens. But he wanted to talk about it so much that he yeah. started it up again. He's like, oh, "Do you like it? Do you like it?" <laughs> and so then I had to have the conversation about the phone, the, this, that, and the other. Um, and then I was at the uh, Infinite Loop Apple Store, and everybody in there is going to pick up their phones. They all have that. And yeah. I'm just like, "La di da di da da," walking through there. With you know what my I phone. do? Just to really <laughs> emphasize it, just. This is Stick what's great. Keep it in your jacket pocket and people can tell. It's like, oh, look at those three at, he's dots. He's got three dots. He's, he's got the three that, dots. That configuration, that tells you something. Oh, <gasps> special. It does. Now, uh, the camera. Let's talk about the camera. Um, what do you think? Uh, so I've been very, very, very impressed with the camera in low light settings, in, um, in taking photos that are sort of like from a distance. Let me see all sorts of Have things. you done a slow fee yet? Uh, yeah, but all it is is just slow motion on the front-facing camera. It's not anything special. I did a slow fee uh, on Twit on Sunday. You want to see my slow fee? I would love to. It's loading. There's me. There's Louise Mitsakis of uh, Wired. That's Dwight Silverman showing off his three hey, dots. Look at those. He's, He's got the, the three dots. He the whole show with the phone in front of his mouth like that. <laughs> did he really? Crazy. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not loading the slow fee, which is Well, while annoying. it's loading, show my screen, if you will. Oh, look at you on Infinite Loop. You could look at you. So these are some photos. These are great pictures. Taken. That's kind of a nice thing to have. How's Serenity, by the way? Uh, you keep thinking it's Serenity. It's not <laughs> Serenity. Oh, wait, not that one. There we go. One infinite loop. Um, but look at, let me find. Where are those? Oh, here we go. Wide angle, baby. Wide oh, angle. Oh, I love that. Isn't that great? Wow. I think wide angle is one of my favorites. Amazing. Now, this is a portrait I took of my daughter. <laughs> she's going to kill me. <laughs> I love it. But there was bright sun. That's why she's wearing a napkin. And uh, this is a live photo. And I think it, I think it's actually pretty good. And then, of course, if you if you do it with the uh, with portrait in, involved, mm -hmm. you can then oh, it's uh, oh. these are all not on all the on your phone, not on your. Uh, I don't know why, but for some reason the uh, internet's very slow. 
But if you um, if you uh, at, shoot in portrait, I had to explain this to Lisa because she said I, she wanted to do portrait on a picture. I said, no, no, you have to shoot it in portrait. But then you don't worry so much about your choices when you're shooting in portrait because you can, um, oh, I could take a picture of the picture. Because then uh, even if you don't, if you decide, oh, you know, I, I don't I want I don't want to do the high key right high mono. key mono yeah you, all the whole picture is saved and you can edit it after the fact that's the same as in previous versions of uh, portrait I have to say I like this new one this high key mono yep I me really too do. Yeah. well yeah when when in proper lighting and everything I like it because it yeah. can get a little rough if you don't have it set up well okay and this is one thing I had expected a little better from Apple I thought maybe they were going to have but see I don't know do they have Time of flight sensors or lidar oh, and no LIDAR, 3D because right. it doesn't do a great job, I have to say, of picking out the background and the foreground. It should yes. know that because yes. of these lenses, yeah, that that's distant, this is close up, mm -hmm. and it shouldn't have so much trouble. But it often, it often does have trouble with the background. Let me, let me shoot this, and then see. Huh. Let's go back into the editor. Uh, oh, did I not shoot it in portrait? Maybe that's yeah. It said move farther away. So I oh, think it happening. needs more information. You're right. You're right. That's a really interesting point. Can I do it now? Move farther away. <laughs> hey, let me do you. Let me do you. Okay, now you're far enough away. Um, so even on this, you see, <laughs> for some reason, it shoulder. took a chunk out of your shoulder. Ow! It, it should. It should just know. Yes. Oh wait a minute, that's the microphone. Oh, is it? That's the microphone oh, okay. taking a so chunk that's out of fair. your shoulder. That's fair. And again, if you don't like it, you can say, well, that was a bad choice, so I'm going to try I do have to say, I really love in the right circumstances. There you go. For the right photo. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty great portrait of you. Well, thank you. Because the, the background has just dropped out, right? So just remember to get that foreground object out of there. Hmm. Yeah. Get, oh, did a pretty good, it did a pretty it good job. It actually did a pretty good job cutting me. Yeah. Not, not for what perfect. it is, yeah. For what it is. Hair is often a problem. No, actually, it did a good I'm job. I'm surprised. It usually yeah. messes up my hair. Yeah. It did a good job. All the edges. So I always check the edges. And then you can always do it again if you, if you don't like it. I think that's a nice picture of you. And there are some... Well, I look kind of scared, but there are some apps As that... As you should uh, be. Right, exactly. This is where you really see you're the problem. So smudge my lens. This, this side is uh, out of focus for some reason. Mm-hmm. Because it just, and you see it has some of the shadowing and a little from the bit back. up here on my So hair. it's hard to do this high key. Uh, I have yet to have a perfect high key. Uh, yeah, that's the one I haven't portrait. gotten yet either. Yeah. Um, so this is a low light photo that I took with night. Well, I didn't take it, but uh, with oh, night look at mode that. On. Oh, that's now was it pretty dark in there? Was it just it the candles? Was, yeah, it was candle lighting. Oh, there you go. And this is, I wish I had taken a photo or I had him take a photo with night mode off so that you could see how dark it was. It was just the candles lighting up the scene, and these photos are what came out of it. And right. I was really impressed with the night mode. And I've got one of uh, Henry. This is a night mode photo as well of um, my dog, Henry. Oh, Night mode doggo. Here's a, um, here's a picture I took of myself. And, uh, and you can, uh, oh, let me show you the other thing you can do. So here's, if you want, you can um, change the uh, f-stop, which is, is this cool. a swim pool? Yeah. So you can change the background, which is nice. And that might help a little bit with the, um, that's the depth camera, with the uh, different portrait modes. Perhaps. Perhaps. I, I really, you know, I, I, th I think Apple's doing some great stuff, mm -hmm. but I also think there's some work still to be done. I agree. Yeah. And remember, we haven't got the key part of this yet, which is what the is fusion. That called? Fu yes. The fusion engine. Here's the slow fee finally loaded. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no point in doing a slow fee unless you um, have long hair. No, no. Well, that would help. If you had a, a wind machine and long hair, it would, certainly would be a lot better. But unless you're moving, so you always have to do something <laughs> silly like that. I move my hand. Ta-da! Yeah. But I think it's kind of fun. It is fun. And and this is the other thing I was showing off is how wide angle you can get. If you turn it sideways, you really can get quite a bit into your selfie. 
Mm. So uh, the next time Ellen does a selfie at the Oscars, it'll gonna, actually have everybody. Or as they did at the Emmy Awards, they needed the new iPhone because they had the whole Game of Thrones cast, <gasps> and they they really couldn't fit everybody in. So, are you doing a slow fee? <laughs> That's good. Let's see how. Let's see how that looks. Uh, he's playing with his. Uh, <laughs> You got lower. It. Oh, lower. sorry, sorry, sorry. Here. Let me... Oh man, I know what to do from now on. <laughs> Let me edit wow. that so it's just. Um... So it's not it's not slow mo until uh, it goes in a second or two. So you can change where the slow mos go. Which was a great Dr. Seuss book. Remember that where, where the, the slow mos, slow -mos go? go? Yeah. yeah, I love that one. <laughs> Amazing. And those <laughs> your, are my, your, your ear fell out. out. Nice. Yeah. Slofy. <laughs> Slofy. You can go to S L O P H I E dot net or S L O P H I E dot org. <laughs> which now, which is nice. Go to the Apple keynote. I thought that was a nice touch on your <laughs> Thank part. Thank you. Well Thank done. You. Yeah. Well played. Got to so. have something. <laughs> this spells Slofy. At least you can do something with it. Uh, um, what else do we like about the new iPhone? I'm, I, I am oh, utterly thrilled that they allowed it to be a little thicker, a little heavier, yes. and get great battery life. Get and it has been absolutely phenomenal battery life. Yeah, I mean, over the weekend, um, shooting, 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 yep. shooting, and video and all that, and not having any issues with uh, no, charging super happy. whatsoever. Super happy. Now, there were some, I saw the uh, iFixit teardown, and yeah. there were some, some interesting components inside that hinted at the possibility of the, what do they call it? Reverse like, charging. Reverse charging. Yeah. So you could lay your AirPods down on the phone and actually get charging. And there's some question whether what iFixit thought they saw, which was a connector mm -hmm. that could maybe be used for a reverse charging coil, if that's really what that was going right. to be for. In fact, some said, no, no, that's the self-test electronics when you oh. take it to the apple store they can plug in a diagnostic machine and that's for that so it may be that uh it may be that was there and maybe i fix it, or maybe not maybe i fix it misidentified it mm -hmm. um and that's the problem i mean they're rushing they want to be the first exactly. to get this out yeah and i think if there is if if it is for something else they'll have a correction but i thought that was interesting apple was rumored to be doing that mm -hmm. And uh, never did. I don't think it's a feature I would miss. I have it on my Samsung phones. I've never used it. Yeah, I've got plenty of charging pads, and yeah. so I don't. I don't know. I maybe I guess if I was out and about and I needed to quick juice up on my AirPods. Or yeah, something. that's exactly why you would do it if yeah. you have uh, uh, you headphones that are wireless and and you know you have no other way to charge them. Um, then maybe you could give it a little juice. I, it just doesn't seem like a great feature, so I wouldn't wouldn't bother me that if Apple didn't put it in. It was just a rumor. The other thing they were rumored to do to did not do, which of course is a sleep tracking on the watch, and now people are saying, well, maybe next year hmm. they could still probably put that out. Yeah, I don't it's see just why software, not. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're using a third party sleep tracking app, so you don't. Yeah. you don't mind. I use Pillow, Pilla, Pilla. You know, got the Pilla. Um, and uh, the two, the, there are some interesting um, cutouts in the chassis of the iPhone um, that all lead to some sort of antenna hub. And they think that that might be part of the U1 ultra wideband chip that's in the iPhone that we will, in theory, hear more about soon. I think that's going to be a definite. Uh, because we know the hardware is in there. Right. I think we know the U1 is in there. Mm -hmm. In fact, Apple said it's in there. It right. was in a slide behind Phil Schiller. He didn't talk about it. But that's, and we've talked a little bit about that in the past, that allows you to do things like direction finding. So this is a feature that hasn't yet come to uh, the iPhone, but probably will before the year is out, which is that I can do an airdrop. And if there's five people standing in front of me, I can point to the one I want to airdrop to, and that one will come to the top. That's the direction finding in here. It also could be used for uh, a rumored Apple tra tracking, mm -hmm. a Bluetooth tracking device. That would be very cool. And you'd, in theory, be able to use augmented reality to say, oh, where is it? Oh, it's under the couch. Yeah. That'd be great. Uh, but there are a lot of other applications. In fact, we talked about it on Sunday with Sam Abul Samad, who is our car uh, guy. He said automobiles will also be using UWB. 
as a way of uh, detecting other automobiles and things. Oh, so, that's smart. Yeah, so I think there's going to be a, a really interesting future uh, with that. And so we know the chip's in there, just no software to support it, but that's coming. Uh, again, that Fusion engine, which is going to make the camera much better, mm -hmm. Apple says. Lots of new features coming to the camera. I like that. I kind of like that. Yeah. It gives you something to look forward yeah, to. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, I've got this awesome new hardware, right. and later on it's going to get even better than it is right now. People are already, you know, excited about it, so. I am still checking. Did you do uh, the uh, beta, iOS 13 beta on your phone? Yeah, I did. So you will not be in a position <laughs> to tell us when the uh, update is out. So I'm just going to check because uh, I want to see if, you know, supposedly today's the day. That was something that happened. Oh, there it is. So Apple uh, wasn't going to push iOS 13.1 out until next week. Mm -hmm. But I think because of this, of at least one security flaw, and I'm going to guess there are others, they yes, advanced sure. it by a week. There are also a lot of reviewers pointed out a lot of bugs in 13.0. Did of you find a lot of crashing. bugs? A lot of app, app crashing. crashing. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, Including uh, a Fortnite or some... Uh, for, does that make sense? That's is, pretty serious. Is there serious. Fortnite on, on iOS? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, then, yes, definitely. Then that's, that's what I read. That's pretty serious. Yeah, you don't Fortnite mess. was crashing. Yeah, Fortnite's made a lot of money for Apple. You don't want to mess with the Fortnite. <laughs> and, and that purchases. So, good. So, this is now out. Look, it's only 500 megabytes on the uh, on the uh, new iPhone. So, it's not a huge download. Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Why Let's Why not take, take a little chance there? Um, and we'll see how long it takes. So, start the clock. Bum bum. 10.25 and no seconds. And we'll see how long that takes to uh, download and update. We have a very fast connection here. The, yeah, as I was fast say, as the phone can go. I'm on yeah. Wi-Fi. Um, yep. Oh, about 28 checking, seconds. Downloading. No, it's not quite. But Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're not wrong. 18 seconds remaining. 500 megabytes. That's about right. Shouldn't take too long. Now, I am on the um, iOS beta on my iPad. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think I should remove the profile. Okay. Don't you? So that once I get 13.1, I'll get the final version. I don't want to... So the way you do in um, uh, on iOS, the way you get uh, into the beta program, you have to sign up uh, on the Apple site, but then you also have to download and put a certificate on here that mm -hmm. says you are a beta tester, and then you'll get the app pushed i don't want to be a beta tester anymore. past 13.1 yeah yeah that makes sense although maybe you'd get advanced fusion things like oh, that oh shoot i never did it on the phone and that's why i, I don't have to worry on the phone but uh, where do we remove the profile if uh, i want to do general, that general so you need to go back to the main screen we'll there general and then scroll all day all the way down to profiles and there it is so yeah i don't have that on the iphone but here you see ios 13 oh, and ipad os 13 profile. beta software so tap i'm gonna that. Rem tap remove on it that and then remove Having removed that profile, I won't get any more betas. And but presumably, <laughs> I hope I will. There, it's gone now. This is a profile. This is my uh, email signing key. Ah. So that's another thing that might live in those profiles if you have email signing keys. So uh, presumably now I won't get. Well, actually, this will be interesting. Yeah, because you're already running. I'm already running the one. beta, but I think oh. yeah, that's what I thought. So this is the gold master. Notice on the iPad, 3.34 gigabytes. Just a little just bit bigger. Just a little bigger. bit bigger. That's because it's iPad OS, now, not just iOS. Normally, on a show like this, it would be foolish for me to say, download and update. Uh huh. But I'm going to do it anyway. Well, because you're no fool. <laughs> because because well, we have an ad this coming. way I can do an ad. Yeah. Perfect <laughs> And timing. while I'm selling you some fine products. Oh, look at this. Do you agree? Look at this. You know that thing I had him. Oh, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> I By the told way, you. did you notice when you got your new phone how many terms and conditions you had to say yes to? It went on and on and on. I don't recall. Yeah, because you were in a hurry. It was. It's a very. I used that new transfer feature. By oh. the way, between two devices. Oh, how'd that work? It took an hour and a half, but. I liked it because most of my apps were still logged in. I didn't have to worry oh, about any of them. Oh, well, really see, cool. I had an iCloud backup. Mm -hmm. That went very quickly because yeah. it just downloads passwords and stuff and the list of apps. And then it has to go out and download mm -hmm. each app. So you're saying with transfer, it just took the whole app. It took everything. 
That does save time because it yeah. took me another, you know, overnight pretty much to get all the apps. I woke up in the morning, everything was downloaded. I was really impressed with that. Uh, like I said, it was an hour and a half while they were both talking to each other. Oh, they I'm were. Really, wow. And yeah. you can do it, by the way, with an iPad as well as an iPhone. It doesn't. Oh. Have, yeah. You, know, you can do it with an iPad. That's in cool. fact, that's how I activated this because I didn't have an iPhone because I gave it to Lisa when she broke hers. So I, uh, it saw this iPad. It said, fine. It got all the passwords. It got, I don't have to re enter iCloud. I didn't have to do all that stuff. And then it got a list of apps, so it had to download all those apps. I had to start by setting up my iPhone as a new iPhone so that I could then go in and download iOS 13.1 beta so that it would be using the same iOS as the phone that I currently had. Then I reset it and decided to set it up as you know the, the phone that I already had, basically, and just right. transfer the information over. So it was a little bit of a process, but well worth it because, like I said, most of my stuff was still logged in. I didn't have to worry about any of that. Little tip, the chat room is so smart. <clears throat> uh Actually, I don't know if that works on this. No, it doesn't. But you can long press the App Store and it will give you updates. Oh, how updates, nice. Straight which to is, updates. So you know, I had complained in the past about the new uh, App Store where they replaced updates with the arcade button. But now you can go there with a long press. I was, I thought they might be saying you could go to that with a long press oh, of settings, but you can't. You got Bluetooth. This is good to remember, though. Bluetooth Wi-Fi. You can change the settings there, sell your data, battery, and rearrange apps. Speaking of, I've really been missing. I didn't think you I was going long, to. Uh, 3D deep, touch. Deep, deep press or yeah, whatever they call 3D it. Yeah, 3D pressing You touch. missed that. Only because I used it so much when I was typing as the cursor. Oh, now you know what you do now. Use a space bar. Yeah, but I kind of like this new thing because it's very, I feel like it's, I like it better a little bit. But before, your whole keyboard could become a trackpad. Now I know. you just have to start at the space so bar let's, to do it. So let's just show people uh, this so that they can uh, understand what we're talking about. I'll open up the Notes app here and create a... a um, actually, I could just go right here. No, yeah. So let's say I want to edit this. You long press space. Mm -hmm. Now I can use the whole thing. Yeah. But how do you select and stuff? Because it used to be I could... Oh. Dump and then dump, dump. You select by using two fingers. Oh, so you that's have so to, complicated. It is a little, but you know, I think you could get used to. That. I will. I have to. I have no other I think choice. You could get but. used to that. I do like it that it's a very clear place where you long press. It always made me feel funny long pressing the keyboard. <laughs> See, and I, and I also think this is a very nice granular way to back get the cursor to right where you want it. Used to remember the magnifying glass oh, thing. My word. That's all gone. Yeah, you don't do that anymore. Long pressing on uh, the cursor doesn't doesn't do anything for you, except give you the the menu. But you can long press on the space and then very quickly go to where you want. I think that's a better way to do it, honestly. So I feel like that's a refinement that Apple's made. Hey, let's just really quickly see if uh, the update. Why it's almost there? Yes, almost I there. And let's see how we're doing on the uh, about iPad. Two minutes. Two minutes. Remaining. It's a big download. You know, that's a that's that a like that's a whole operating system. Yeah, this is just a few hundred megabytes preparing update. That's usually the for some reason I don't even know what they're preparing. They downloaded it. I wonder if it's downloaded as a an archive and uh, on preparing they uh, there. It seems like expanded. that's the slowest part. And then yes, after it's the prepared, prepared, is always the slowest. It'll part. do the install install. So I'm going to do a very very long commercial right now because <laughs> I'm I'm nervous. And I want to get calm. Yes. Did you see that? Isn't that cool? Well, that's perfect timing. The calm is on my watch. Calm is on your watch, and you can actually have I it just on that. your watch. Oh, oh that's right. Your, it's now, in fact, let me do that. Let's go to AirPods. the calm store. I mean, the uh, app store. <laughs> for me, for our purposes today, it is the calm store. And download calm right to my watch. Calm is the best way to take the stress out of your life. I love calm.com. You, it, if you're having a hard time focusing these days, I, it's really no surprise. Life is jangling. We're constantly staring at screens. We're multitasking. We're binge watching, hyper connected, overstimulated. And don't talk to me about the news. <laughs> the modern world is stressful. That's why you need calm. The number one app for meditation. Did you know that meditation actually changes your brain chemistry? It's been shown to literally slow down the release of stress chemicals adrenaline and cortisol into your bloodstream which means that fight or flight thing that's getting your heart pounding and your blood pressure up just relaxes calms down the world health organization has uh, said that stress is the number one health epidemic of the 21st century 
As a society, we're feeling more uncertainty and anxiety than ever before. There's Tamara Levitt. I love her. She is in my mind. I do the daily meditations with Tamara. They're oh, yeah. so great. With Calm, you're going to get a whole library of simple guided meditations on themes like anxiety, creativity, focus. Uh, and then there's a new one every single day. So you can really advance your practice uh, by learning new skills. There's sleep stories. There's meditations. Take a deep breath. Let's see the toe. Oh, oh. Yesterday's Daily Come was about cats. I have to send that to Lisa. Oh. It was about cats. Today, the Daily Calm. Ooh, the race. Welcome to the Daily Calm. Is about the Today race. We'll be exploring how to slow our tempo. I yes. love this. I love you, Tamara. By finding a comfortable position. Oh, I just it makes me want to just close my eyes. I'm gonna do it. Look at Sam Smith has a new sleep mix. Now that's interesting. That's so cool. Moby released. His album, most recent album, exclusively on Calm. I see they have a Sam Smith song now. And I've seen Above and Beyond on here, which I really like. It's really great. This music is so fantastic. Sleep Stories. This is a very popular song right now, so I'm curious what they did to make it a sleep version. This is interesting. Oh, How Do You Sleep is actually a song, so, see, I'm yeah. not hip with the kids like you are. Well, see, you know Lizzo, though, so you're I love Lizzo. You're getting there. Sam Smith's pretty cool. He's okay. He's okay. This is a mix of one of your favorite songs, that will help you sleep, which yes. is kind of neat. You Don't you like that? It's a melodic remix of his hit, created to send you off to dreamland. Yeah, I'm waiting to hear like the... You know the who composed chorus. the sleep version? Was it Sam? Sam Smith. He did it himself. Isn't that neat? That's very cool. And then you get a, a picture of Sam. Is that him? That is him, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I guess there's no lyrics oh, in maybe this. Maybe there are no lyrics. That's probably why it's sleepy time. Can you skip ahead like yeah. 135 or something? <laughs> You really want to know, don't you? I am curious if it does okay. have lyrics. Let's, let's see. Oh, it's an hour? Well, yeah. You don't expect to go to sleep That's for fair. a minute. Oh, it feels like Stranger Things. This is beautiful. It actually is, yeah. I love it that Sam Smith did this. You know why? Because Sam's probably a big fan of Calm. He of probably calm. uses it. Everybody uses Calm. I've been a Calm premium member for years. If you're not yet, please put some rain in your window, some Sam Smith on the record player, and get Calm. Get Calm Premium for 25% off right now if you go to calm.com slash iOS today. Uh, let's go to the forest, actually. I want to go to the forest. That's ready. C-A-L-M.com slash iOS today. See, you notice how with Calm, I relaxed. I wasn't stressed out. It wasn't like a watch pot never boils. I yeah. just let it go. You let when it you're go? doing iOS 13.1, fire up Calm. <laughs> 50 million people have downloaded Calm. ASMR. It's on your computer. It's on your iOS device. It's on Calm. your watch now. It's on your... Oh, yeah. I forgot. I have it on my watch. Calm.com slash iOS today. I am so glad it's on my watch. That is so freaking cool. So I imagine you sync your sort of favorite ones to the watch. Look, there's breathe for calm, breathe for sleep, breathe to relax. Yeah, the daily calms on here. Mindful walking. Perfect. Oh, my next walk. I'm going to listen to mindful walking. Oh, emergency calm. <gasps> oh, if you're like having some anxiety. Yes, you need to... so you connect your headphones. <gasps> emergency calm. That is so awesome. And also you can act. I'm... It's doing it. Listen. Chances are, if you're playing this session, you're in need of immediate stress relief. So let's take a few. Oh, I love you. Tamara is now in my watch. I am so happy about that. Oh, my goodness. Calm.com slash iOS today. This is the best money you'll spend today. Trust me. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Calm. Calm. All right, should I press the install button? You Let me should, see. but I also should. many people are screaming in the chat for your iPhone case. So, uh, folks, we will include a link in the show notes. It was like an $8 case on Amazon. It's Amazon. If you go look, there's a million of them. Um, let me just go look at my orders. You know, that's the easiest way to find out. Just go look at my Amazon orders, and I will tell you, because I bought this. And I bought from Spigen, I bought a more tough case for uh, Lisa, because she uses an OtterBox, but the OtterBoxes won't be available um, until October. So I said, well, I'm going to get you a short-term tough case from Spigen, which is a lot less than an OtterBox, and actually, I think it's just as tough. But she's, like, so devoted 
she got the Spigen Tough, tough Armor. Tough Armor. Ooh. But this is... Okay, Stoon? so... <laughs> the name is Stoon? Stoon. Uh, that's yes. a Stoon. This is the Stoon. It was $7.99. Uh, maybe a little yellow, but you know what? At that price, I don't care. Right. I really don't care. So, um, that's the one I got. Anti-scratch shock absorption. Now, this one... Like a lot of them has kind of a dot pattern on the inside. I think there's a reason. Oops, install. I think there's a reason for that. Um, Apple's clear case. It at it the won't bottom go is, yellow. I'm no, sure. well that's true too. They they do use a special chemical coating to right. keep it from yellowing. But their case at the bottom doesn't have that lip because of the swiping gestures on oh. the iPhone 10 and newer devices. It's much easier if there's not a lip there. I'll tell so you why. One other thing I like mind. a little lip. Why do you like a little lip? Because when I put this face down, I want the lip to keep the screen off the table. Oh, but it's it goes all the way to the edges, so you'd still have... Oh, you just mean they cut it out yeah, there? Yeah, just like That's right That's just weird. Down here. That feels like there's something missing. Oh, but it's because this all is, of my... This is something Apple there. doesn't have. That's for your little wrist strap. That's, yes, yes, that is true. The Apple one does not have your wrist I strap. I honestly holder. would not recommend using that because I think the first thing that happens is the... The, the the rope, the the string that's attached to your wrist thing is going to cut right through that t plastic <gasps> and it's going to go flying. Oh, no, I didn't think about yeah. that. So I wouldn't use it. There you go. So Stone. Your top tip. Stone. I think it might be Scottish. Oh. It's from Stone, oh, Ar Stone, Stone, Scotland. I wonder if you get a free bit of uh, whiskey. It's not the only one. There's a lot of them. And in the past, I've gotten them from Speck and Spigen. Oh, Speck. Now, Spec. that's a popular brand. There's a name uh, that'll go down in history. <laughs> There's a name I haven't heard in a while. <laughs> oh, Dude. oh, I'm still preparing the update. This may be a show where I let you do the rest of it. Oh, right. Because, because I'm to... still uh, waiting for iOS to update on both my phone and my iPad. It's a little farther along on the phone. Well, that's fine. We've got some uh, news to talk news about. News time. It's time for the... for. <laughs> I've got to work on that accent. It's I haven't time for the news. You know what you do? What's that? Yeah, listen. Okay, there's a Robin Williams bit by the guy who invented golf. <laughs> it's hysterical. And listen to that, and you'll get the accent perfect. It's not It's not a real accent. Right. It's a Robin, Robin, Robin Williams', Williams version of it. It didn't accent. Yeah. Have you ever ever heard that? I don't. Oh, it's the greatest thing. Yeah, I can't. I got to I gotta quit because <laughs> it's, it's, I'm disappointed. It's Robin Williams. Myself. I know. I, I. Yeah, there he is. The, you, 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 with a Scotsman. <gasps> Because you can't understand them before. I, oh. I was going to warn you. There might be some strong language in there. It's okay. Carrot had the first layer of we'll strong language. We'll bleep that out. Yeah. In the later Hello, version. kids watching live. Why are you not at school? <laughs> Go back to school. Go back to school. Uh, so in the, in the news, um, we've got uh, first up the so something interesting about these cameras. The developer of Halide or Halide or Halide. 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 Um, Right and focus, app. they really are good. They make the best camera apps. Focus is a uh, is for time is for uh, long shutter exposures. Halide gives you uh, deep. I would show you, but <laughs> my phone is rebooting. It, would, it gives you uh, deep access to all the features, including the depth sensor, uh, and it's really amazing. Precisely, and unfortunately, uh, tweeted that the ultra wide camera on the iPhone, they don't have access to raw support or uh. manual focus on that camera. So you can't shoot raw with the ultra wide and you can't use manual focus. And they think the reason why is because Apple is doing some clever distortion stuff. Uh, like, well, they have to correct the for the uh, curvature of all, this is always a problem with super wide angle lenses and Apple's way, is what, 18 millimeters? Here's halide. Um, so you can see I've got autofocus turned on right now, but I can easily turn that off and choose to focus. Oh, look, we're so, I love the, the depth screen. sensor too. Yeah. And then this is fun. Um, so the depth you, you sensor have to be in the, um, not only lets you, uh, see sort of with a gray screen, the kind of the difference between, uh, where things are. So it, there is depth it sensing on the back camera of some kind. Go. Yeah. Interesting. Put to the selfie. That's to me. That's oh, the yeah, best that's, death that's, sensor because it's using the the selfie cam. You got to lower it a little bit. Oh yeah. Sorry. Whoops. Sorry, folks. Yeah. So it's really cool. Whoops. It's really cool. You see this. The, the my hand in front of him is lighter oh. than my hand. It gets darker as it goes farther back. Ooh. And if you move around, it's very cool. 
It's uh, it's I I'm, Halide is a remarkable achievement. Not free, but uh, well worth getting. So that makes sense. Apple didn't give him access to the. Um, he, I'm sure he uses camera kits, so he's kind of bound by what Apple will let him uh, do. So you're trying to sh shift the. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot that you can uh, put the photo in <laughs> augmented reality. And then uh, it's kind of hard to see, but I could basically step around and see sort of the depth oh, that's capture neat. on the photo that I took. That's what Snapchat's doing with that weird 3D selfie. Yeah, those weird 3D thingies. Anyway, uh, that's Halide. And so basically the complaint is just that, unfortunately, that ultra-wide camera, which is an incredible uh, addition, I, I feel, to the, the phone, uh, you don't get to do raw shots from that. And some people want to be able to shoot raw, you know? That's life. That's life. Honestly, when you get to that point, you should be buying a big ass camera mm -hmm. and never carrying it on your side. No, you know. So uh, I had a brand new, very expensive lens on my brand new, even more expensive camera, and I had a camera strap which I love from Peak Design that lets you hip sling it because mm -hmm. then you sling it up, sling it down. Oh my god! And I fell. And I landed on the hood of my very expensive lens Ow. and snapped it off, which is sad because this very expensive lens has a plastic ring on it. Mm. So yesterday I brought it to the camera store and I said, I need to repair. He's my son. He is very sick. Yeah. He said, well, does the lens still focus? I said, yeah. Is it, is, it, is the glass good and everything? Yeah. Is, everything's good. It's just this, it's just this, this ring that sh shouldn't be plastic, but is that holds on the uh, hood. He said, well, just glue it back on. I said, what? He said, well, just glue it. Get some super glue and glue it back on. It'll be fine. I said, oh. He said, I just saved you a thousand bucks, dude. I said, nice. Thanks. So, so you did that. Yeah, you just glue it back on. Now, see, you should just be keeping this in your wallet. <laughs> I know. My wallet's big enough. Yeah. So now I have, I don't carry it on my shoulder anymore. This way, if I fall, I can throw my hands up like this and let my <laughs> nose take the brunt of it. Right. Well, yeah, because then insurance will cover that. Honestly, I'd rather break my nose than break this camera, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Oh, boy. So still uh, still in uh, in update land. Yeah, while you're still in update land, let's talk about uh, the highest ever score from DisplayMate, the iPhone oh, 11 Pro Max They said screen. basically it's perfect. It's an A-plus score. Yeah. Never had a higher score. They yeah. did say, and I think this is true, that they're going to have, if as better screens come along, they're going to have to adjust the scoring. Yes. But for now, this is the best screen. And you know what? I agree. I I've agree. Been... The one thing it doesn't do that I wish it did that the new Google phone will do that the OnePlus does is, is a faster re refresh rate. Oh. 90 hertz refresh rate. It's not? The ROG phone does 120 hertz. It's a gaming phone. No, it's 60 hertz. And the, it's a subtle difference, but it's a nice difference. It makes scrolling just feel buttery. Because the iPad has buttery. that Pro Display. Yeah. Or whatever. Is that what they call it? Pro Display? Well, there's True Tone. Oh, yeah. My iPhone my iPad 10 has the faster refresh rate. Is, I don't remember what up to it. date. Thank you, Kevin, for not showing my super secret code. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. uh, I am now on... Uh, is there anything I should be looking for with 13.1? I can let you fiddle with my phone now. Yes. That's the one thing, I guess. Yeah, that's really not... There's nothing else, no new features in it. And uh, I'm still waiting. It's downloaded. Oh, well, there's some new, like, automation features and things like oh, that. Oh, uh, shortcuts so, wasn't yeah, on NFC, the uh, old version, right? Uh, well, some of the shortcuts weren't available. Not all shortcuts. There's were NFC now um, nice. uh, access. Good. So well, those are kind of fun. The idea that, you know, if I walk into my house and tap an NFC tag, then it could trigger some automations in my home. Or uh, a lot of people like to put yeah, their just phone... put a tag on the front door like a mezuzah and you go boom, mm -hmm. boom. Like or in that. their car when they put it on the mount. That's kind of neat. Set up certain things. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Automatically like launch Spotify or Apple Music, whatever you can do that. Is. If I bet you, uh, when you join the Bluetooth in your car, you could have yes. a shortcut enacted as well. Yes, and there are even ones now. And I don't. I'm curious, folks out there listening to this show, uh, if you are big into shortcuts, I would love to know the reason to have a shortcut for when an app launches, do something. Because there is an option to do that. You can say, hey, when I launch, uh, I don't know, the weather app. Yeah, turn on Wi-Fi or something, right? Yeah, yeah, and I just don't know, I don't know what I would use that for. Well, that would be one. So, well, wouldn't I already have Wi-Fi on? Well, maybe you don't, because you could also have a shortcut that says, when I'm leaving the house, turn off Wi-Fi. 
Oh, that's by the way like would that. be a good yeah. shortcut because then you would save battery. Well, and also I always have that little annoying part where it's still trying to stream my music over my Wi-Fi, but my Wi-Fi is always too, a problem. I'm doing that. Plus, That's a great I one. don't want it to ask me. I guess it won't if you turn that off. But I don't. I don't want it to ask me if. Oh, I see some Wi-Fi. You want to join it? No, I don't trust them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have that turned off. Yeah, turn that, that off. That uh, uh, always ask notify. Wi-Fi thing. Notify when no, it sees Wi-Fi. No. I don't want your stinky Wi-Fi. No, it's stinky. Get it out of my face. It's probably poison. Come on, man. Could be could be something awful. It could it could be could be something awful. You know? Awful. I don't want that. Ask to join networks. Notify off 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 off. Right. Mm -hmm. You could. I. By the way, there's no just join them, which is good. Thank you, Apple. They've really improved privacy in uh, iOS 13. I just think they said some really great things. But you could say, well, ask me if you see it. You could say, put a notification up. That's the least intrusive. Or just off. Don't do it. Yeah, because I know on the what Wi-Fi I want to connect to. Yeah. Or I don't want to connect to Wi-Fi if I'm right. not trying to. I do love, so for the longest time, for some reason, my phone would not do it. But they have a setting where when you are, say, at a friend's house and you're trying to connect to their Wi-Fi yeah. and you don't have the password, you don't have to do the password dance of like, oh, let me tell you the whole up, uppercase T, lowercase U, blah, blah, blah. You both just go into the Wi-Fi thing and then there's an option to share the Wi-Fi connection uh, with your with your friend or whomever, and it automatically sort of like airdrops the password. I love that. In. I think that's such yeah. a fantastic feature. So convenient. Or, or I like this too. If I'm logged into Wi-Fi on my iPad, it automatically logs me in on my Mac and my iPhone. Oh, so nice! Don't have to remember the password. Enter it three times. That's really great. I agree. Love that. Love it. So. It, That's its name. Sorry. I was trying to remember the screen display technology for the faster True refresh tone. rate. No, no, no. True Tone's for color. It's a uh, ProMotion technology. ProMotion. And That's they don't have it on yet the Pro, on the iPhone. Not on the iPhone. Yeah. That's next year. You got to have something for next time. <laughs> and 5G apparently will you yeah. next time. iPad, it says now, we'll try to install this update later tonight. Why? I don't know. Why doesn't it? Why is that <laughs> blocked out? <laughs> Maybe I don't have enough juice. I have eighty-seven percent. That should be enough oh. juice, right? Maybe it wants me to be plugged in. Maybe I don't know. What Later if tonight, you pop out of general and go back into software update. Just like do this, yeah, and then come back, and then go to, and yeah. then go to update. They really shouldn't hide that. What is happening? It's downloaded it. It's checked it, but it's not going to install it. Is it because you have automatic updates turned on? That shouldn't make a difference. If what I choose it, oh, to, oh, that's good. Let's turn it off and see what happens. See, I think, though, if I choose to update it now, <laughs> now that's very Now it doesn't strange. even offer to do it later tonight. Just forget it. You're never going to do You're never it. getting this update. I bet I have to be plugged in. Must be. Must Yeah, because it is a bigger 5.6 gigabytes or it's whatever. A, it's a complete reinvention of the way you use <laughs> it's your It's a reinvention iPad. of the wheel, in fact. Yeah. Uh, Oprah. It might be that big, by the way. I should mention, it might be that big for me. Because I'm going from the beta to the gold it's master. So it's probably down re downloading the whole thing. It might not be that big for you. Oprah? Did you say Oprah? I said Oprah. A billion phones in pockets, y'all. Y'all. I don't care about Oprah's book club on the Apple. Well, too bad. I don't I don't this does not excite me. I'm not excited about it either. But it sells books like crazy. It sells books like me Ed. Uh you me? can re you too can read along with Oprah. Do you think she has somebody who reads to her, like a human being, a human um, oh, yeah. audible? Yeah. She has somebody to do everything for her. Chew her food. I heard that. Yeah. yeah. Everything. Read to her. Move her legs. Move her legs. Yeah. You just can't see them right. when she's on stage. Person. Yeah. This is probably going to be a great book. I love Ta-Nehisi Coates, is, but this is not a novel, which is interesting. Did you see the photo of, of Tim, uh, Ta-Nehisi, and Oprah together? Oh. Uh, Tim's smile is just so sweet. He really is a sweet guy. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, sort of in the middle, and he's just a little bit taller than Oprah, and he's just got this this adorable little smile on. And anyway, um, so yeah, Oprah's book club is available now. Not yet the show, because remember she's doing like a. Is it going to be a show? It's like a live streamed. Let's sit down and talk about. I it. know on Apple TV Plus, she's going to be doing a kind show. of thing. Yeah. yeah. By the way, did you watch the Emmys on uh, Sunday night? No. <laughs> you're lucky because the production was terrible. I was fun to see all the Game of Thrones people on stage at once, but they decided to go hostless. And oh. they had a really snarky comic 
saying like carrot weather stuff as people went to the stage. Why? At one point he said, I hate this job. <laughs> I thought, I ho is he ad-libbing this stuff? Anyway, uh, the... he should hate it because it was embarrassingly bad. Oh, no. However, however, that's not why I'm bringing this up. In the ads, in between, every break practically was an Apple TV Plus. I ad. heard that, yeah. After One after the other. And then last night on Monday Night Football, Apple TV Plus ads. They are pushing the nuts out of this one. <laughs> You know, we could let's let's retake. Let's do it. They are. <laughs> oh, well, that was ad libbed, wasn't it? Yeah, that was. Do you hate this job, Leo? <laughs> They're really pushing Apple TV Plus, aren't they? I don't know where that came from. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> what? They're pushing the heck out of this. Yes, they are. They really want people on the Apple TV Plus service <laughs> with. With uh, with all of their hearts and souls. Any other news? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I have some almonds here. Um, <laughs> so no, this is great. This is great. So yeah. you know, every time the Apple Watch comes out, or every time there's a new Apple Watch update, or they're, they're talking about the Apple Watch, they always have these <laughs> videos of people being saved. Um, that was an amazing ad. Yeah. Oh, they showed an ad. Oh, you're talking about at the thing. They had an ad. For the Apple Watch. During the Emmys? I can't remember where I saw it. About a life-saving moment. Uh -huh. I think it was an ad. It's, I'm, I'm kind yeah, of crying yeah. thinking about it. was it. a very sweet ad. <laughs> Thank goodness I have a pocket square. Yeah. Well, while you're 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 sobbing, it's not about the It's actually... <laughs> fall detection say... Well, potentially save Oh, it was a bicycler. Life. Yes. Yes, he fell on his head. He fell on his head. Was unconscious. Out. The EMTs come... Because his watch called him, mm -hmm. put him in the ambulance. He doesn't wake up till he's already in the he's ambulance. Already in How the did room. I get here? Your watch, yeah, sir. So not only did it go ahead and notify the uh, proper authorities, but it also sent a message to his emergency contacts. I always wondered because they don't show you what that actually looks like. Because I have that set up, like my emergency contacts just, and they don't show what it looks like. So I was finally able to see the messaging that it uses, and it's like, hey. This person has you listed as an emergency contact. This so is their great. last location. Yeah. Everything you need to know. So it didn't call 911 for him. It called uh, his contact and she called 911? No, no. It also calls It also called 911. Yeah, it calls if 911. If you don't respond after a while, it's, yeah, it's really to your, to It your sends your a GPS contacts. location. And yes. It's really it says this was the last note location where this so, happened. I, that wasn't an ad? Where did I see no, that? No, this was on Twitter that... Uh, oh, maybe that's where I saw it. I uh, thought it was an ad. And then it showed up across a lot of the different bloggy yeah. sites. But it, yeah, he it was knocked himself out. He Yeah, just riding the bike and... Um, wow. I mean, look, the there it watch is. has... I guess that's what I saw, yeah. Crack in it. Wow. And then, oof, oof. It's good he didn't break the watch. <laughs> yeah, and then see, this is what it showed to the friend. Oh, and so it, it calls 911 first, or if you're in Britain, then what was it? 98764-E. Seventh stroke K. That's it. Stroke K. Did that's you, um, you have seen, though, you've fallen, the new fall. I have had that. I was, was it, were you um, dancing? I wish. No, it, instead it was, I was uh, moving a dryer into position <laughs> and I uh, you, like you pushed really hard yeah. and it sort of shuffed. And then it was like, hey, did you have a fall? It's like, No. What are those push-ups you do with the with the dumbbells? And what do you call those? I think they're dumb ups. Huh? No, there's a name for it. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I thought Ant would know because he yeah. looks like he does a lot. He of He does them. those with dumbbells. Um, yeah. I put the dumbbell down hard, and it's and my trainer's looking at me, going, "You fallen? <laughs> are you okay?" I said, "No, no, I just you know I put the dumbbell." You're just really down. into it. I was going, <clears throat> "Yeah." <clears throat> what music was playing? Do you listen to music while you work out? No, I listen to my trainer. Oh, going. Harder, Leo, harder. Oh, Push man. those nuts out. Oh, God. Um, so, yeah, you do that. Can we talk about, um, we talked a little bit earlier about the UWB uh, Ultra stuff. wide Ultra band. wide band. And along with ultra wide band, <laughs> now we've seen a little bit more about the U1 chip. I think in I'm rubbing off Apple's. On you. Yeah, always. Um, it, can I have a thank you? I need to get a little bit, <laughs> Leo. Uh, so Mac Rumors had an exclusive uh, Excelsior. <laughs> thank you. So clean. <laughs> they got some uh, hidden information from iOS that shows some screenshots of the items 
tracking within Find My. Oh, so this is really getting serious. Yeah, we're getting serious Look, now. keep track of your everyday items. Tag your everyday items with B389 and never oh, really? use That's what them again. It. That's a pretty good name. I'm, I'm assuming that that is the code. Code name. Code code. Yeah. Uh, B389. And will eventually be become the tags, whatever we decide to call those. Do you think that's like, uh, we, like, if you look at it and squint, you should Ooh. be able to see the name B389 really means... Yeah, like beats, but bears, bears. <laughs> Battlestar Galactica. Oh, that would buy those. Let's take a break. Thank when you. we come back, your questions. I have a question. <laughs> no, the answer is no. Our show today, actually, I love Mint Mobile. Our show today brought to you by Mint Mobile. I almost wore those socks today. Don't you love the fox? I love the fox. You got fox, fox socks, socks from Mint Mobile. Um, you don't get fox socks. You Sorry. just get the best uh, and most affordable mobile service anywhere. It's the same as the big guys. In fact, it is the big guy. They are an MVNO, mobile virtual network operator for T-Mobile. There's the socks. Look at those. Those are not Micahs. They're just extra But they ones. are green. They are green. <laughs> This is what you get, and this is really the key. Your Mint Mobile SIM. Put it in your existing phone, or they sell phones, but <clears throat> honestly, I think the best thing to do is take your phone, take out that expensive SIM from that other company, mm -hmm. and put in Mint Mobile. They'll cut your bill down as low as 15 bucks a month for the same premium coverage. How do they do it? They don't have stores. They, don't, they, they cut the costs that those other guys have with fancy stores, and they just do it all online. Great support, great people. You can even take your old phone number with you. They'll port it over for you. Here's what I did. I said, I like this so much. Uh, I chose 12 gigabytes a month. Mm -hmm. Now, you might say, well, Leo, that seems like more you'd ever use. But it was it's incredible. It's only 25 bucks a month. Unlimited talk, unlimited text. I paid a year up front. That's how you can really save. So it was 300 bucks for a year. I got $25 a month, 12 gigabytes wow. a month. That's amazing, isn't it? Now, you save the most by getting a 12-month plan, but they also have three-month plans. In fact, their introductory three-month plan is just $15 a month. They'll send you the SIM, you put it in your phone, and go. It is, I am, <laughs> honestly, when I set up my phone and I, I put it on a OnePlus 7 Pro, they have a list of phones it works with. It works with almost any uh, uh, phone that would work with T-Mobile, basically, a GSM phone. Uh, I put it in the OnePlus, and I thought, this is, this is fantastic. Uh, it's exactly like it was before, except that it's about a, a third the cost. Less than a third the cost. <laughs> What's happening? It's a third of the cost, and I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to do anything else? I don't even understand how it works. Uh, you've got to try it. Mintmobile.com slash iOS. If you're paying still for the big four... You're overpaying. Mm. You're really overpaying. There's no one as affordable as the Fox. Go to mintmobile.com slash iOS. And I couldn't be happier. At this point, I just want to convert all of my uh, cell phones. This is an amazing deal. 4G, fast, fast service from T-Mobile. Same coverage you get with T-Mobile. They'll send you the SIM card. There's no charge for that. You pop it in, and you're going to have an amazing deal. Try the three-month, $15 a month plan. But you can also, you see here, the little calculator you could... You can figure out which one you want. I just said I went. I went all the way. You know what's kind of silly, what? but is true. I so I have one in my uh, iPad, and oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, Mint right there. But what's silly is that I kind of like having that instead of AT and T or nice. one of those other Mint. ones. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's a good idea. It just looks nice. I might do that too. The yeah. Sims free. Why not? Mint Mobile. MintMobile.com slash iOS. Thank you for your support. Thank you for doing it right, Mint Mobile. So, and for doing it midnight green. Midnight green. We do appreciate that. Somebody suggested <laughs> That's true. You got the phone to match your Mint Mobile. <laughs> exactly. You're so smart. I know. Uh, somebody suggested that maybe iOS 13 won't update because it sees on my calendar that I'm in the middle of a show. It knows. It knew. Thank you, Tim Apple. You're so smart for Tim. stopping him from updating in the middle of the Man. doggone show. I now, love, why didn't you stop him when I he updated you, his Tim. iPhone, Tim Apple? Oh, yeah, because he knew I wasn't doing iPhone today. That's true. This is iOS. iOS today. All-encompassing today. Yeah. See that picture? Remember that? 
I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> don't show anybody. I remember that. <laughs> uh, I'm literally scarred. It, it didn't go literally, away. literally. Anyway, mm. we've got feedback. Let's get some feedback. If you've got feedback, we've got answers. So Tom, <laughs> uh, from somewhere Indiana, writes, On Saturday, September 21st, I was able to purchase a new iPhone 11. I got it from the local Verizon store. He just walked in and got it. And everything's working fine. Didn't even have to get in line. He just walks right in. Now, I saw in the keynote that if you purchase a new phone, you can get Apple TV Plus for one year free. Yes. Or you heard it from us because we talked about that. Yes. Now, can you advise how I get signed up for that? Don't I even worry. Didn't find anything on Apple's page. It's I asked not the Verizon happen. rep. No. What's happening? It happens uh, November 1st. The first shows come out. Yes. First one's going to be For All Mankind, the space show. Uh, shortly thereafter, there'll be C with Jason Momoa, a world of the future where everybody is blind. Uh, there'll be the morning show. That's the new one with Jennifer Aniston and mm -hmm. Steve Carell. So those will all come out next month. Uh, Apple said in the keynote, don't worry about it. If you're buying a new iPhone, if you buy a new device after this announcement, a new Apple TV, a new iPhone, a new Macintosh, you will, when it comes out, you just sign up for it and you'll automatically it knows. get the year. Yeah. So I... We're doing that. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Of course. Yeah. I think Apple understands it's going to be a very competitive uh, market. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was just reading uh, a uh, Maureen Dowd piece, an interview with Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, and Iger was all excited. Six ninety nine for Disney Plus. Incredible deal. Apple the next week. Four ninety nine. <laughs> Can you hold my beer? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I think Apple's being extreme and free, really, free, for yeah. almost everybody. Because uh, you know, Apple TV. If you buy an iPhone, if you buy a Macintosh, if you buy an iPad, you'll get it for a year free. And I think there's many of us who will buy some Apple device once mm -hmm. a year. So uh, I think that's uh, that's Apple's way of saying, yeah, we gotta we gotta step up to the plate. So. Good news. Get you hooked. So yeah, we'll don't see. worry about it. They're going to have it all figured out. You just get to go sign up and you it knows that as long as you've logged in with your uh, iOS or with your Yeah, uh, use iCloud the same password. iCloud account on your, yeah. on your new phone. The other thing you should know is, because uh, I was curious, are you going to do Netflix style, drop them all at once binge? Or are you going to do HBO style, got to wait a week, yeah. once a week? They're going to do a hybrid. The okay. first three episodes of all the shows will be available immediately. So they get you hooked. You watch the first three, then... Every you week, wait. then you gotta wait every week, and I don't mind that. Uh, I kind of like that. Yeah, because there is something about the anticipation that's cool. The anticipation. I like to binge. Patient. <laughs> I like to binge. <laughs> you had me hooked. You had me. I was waiting. I like to binge generally. Yeah, in but fact, then I Lisa, get a little disappointed of my in myself afterward. I'm like, why did I just waste yeah, all that? All the show. You went right through it, uh, Lisa. Keep saying, we shouldn't be watching this. We should just wait till the, all the shows are out. But we can't. We can't help it. Yeah. We just have to watch. It's like, ah, oh, I need it. Have to watch. Well, I like the hybrid. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, that's the whole, again, Apple psychology is very clear. We want to get you hooked on this. Uh, let's go to the question from Tony from Manhattan, Kansas. I got a bit Quite of a dilemma. A one. It, wow. is, it is a long one, but let me, I, I can kind of uh, shrink it down. Bit of a dilemma. A, I have an iPhone 7 Plus. It's got 128 gigabytes, but the battery was replaced, and basically it gave up the ghost while I was on vacation. Oh, no. Now, I only had it for two and a half years, and uh, we both take care of our electronic devices, both Tony and Tony's wife. Uh, so I was hoping the thing would last me until the iPhone 12 comes out next. I hear that model is going to be awesome. Should I get a basic iPhone 11? with the upgrade plan, and then trade that Good off thinking. when the top of the line 12 comes out, or just get the 11 Pro model, since it does have the stainless steel chassis and has more bells and whistles. I like a phone with a really good camera, plus when I buy a smartphone, I'm hoping to get three to four good years out of it. So go with the basic iPhone 11 now, and then upgrade to the 12 when it comes out, or go ahead and go all in on the 11 Pro right now, and then maybe wait for 12 uh, down the line. If you got Apple to replace the battery, I think your first thing is to go to the Apple store. Absolutely. Like, what the hell happened? Yeah. Uh, if you had a third party replace it, and I suspect he did, Must, yeah. that's probably what happened. You know, it, it, that may be what, what caused the death of your, your phone. But honestly, if you just got the battery replaced, I think Apple... And you bring it to them and say, you know, I just got this battery put in. The thing won't work. Yeah, that's... Apple's probably going to make you whole on that. If they won't, 
I'd say I like the idea of getting the iPhone 11, the less expensive solution. Mm -hmm. It still has two of the really good cameras. You're only missing the big wide angle mm -hmm. camera. I don't think that's that's more of a kind of an extra. I don't think a, it's fun to shoot them, but they're so wide. Right. I don't think you'll use it that often. It's very cherry on top. Or maybe not even cherry on top. It's like the sprinkle of peanuts like a on, top. Nut on top. Sorry, Kevin. Um, it, yeah, it's not <laughs> just the, enough to send you into anaphylactic shock. Precisely. So I think the eleven is a fantastic That's phone. What I would do. Comes in lots of colors. I was very disappointed with the purple color. It now is, let me ask you a question, though. All right. So he says I keep these phones for four years. So the theory is I'm going to buy the upgrade plan, pay the twenty nine bucks a month, so I have this iPhone eleven for the next year, and then I'll upgrade to the new one. But he also says he likes to keep his phone for four years, so presumably he doesn't want to do that every year from now on. Right. I think. Can he just turn off the plan and say, that's fine, I'm good? Oh. I, I bet he can't. I mean, what happens then? Oh, if you just. Do you have to like, give the phone back? If you get your. No, you, you just get keep your, paying. Because. It, no, but you get your, twi your 2012, I mean, 2012, 20, tw 2020 iPhone. Mm hmm. You're still on that subscription thing. Mm -hmm. Now what? You don't want the next year's iPhone. You just so that's this is how it works is that the the uh, plan actually is for longer than 12 months and when you turn it in then you are saying I don't have to pay those last like 3 or 4 months ah. of uh, and you get to upgrade automatically. If you keep it, you pay those last 3 or 4 months you've made full good on the the upgrade plan, you get to keep the phone forever. So you're you're leasing it over the course, but you get to keep it if you decide. So to keep you're it. in effect just paying it over time. Yes. So, but then, he, so he won't have paid off his iPhone 11. He just gives it to them, takes the new phone, and then with that one, he's going to pay the full freight on that. Just keep it through those months, or keep and it keep for it a as little long bit as it out. takes yeah, to pay yeah, for it, exactly. and then cancel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's a yeah. Because if you keep them for four years, I think you're right about the 2020. Um, Apple's kind of. They used to do TikTok where they'd have big update, little update, big update, little update. This is TikTok talk, big update, little update, little update. So the next clock's year, all off. It's all talk. No, <laughs> it's no all tick. talk. All talk, no tick. But we do think next year will be the tick with 5G and other super duper features like through the screen fingerprint. Wait, so then is that, that's not no a talk? Notch. That's a tick. That's only a tick? We think oh, wait, is tick big or is talk big? <laughs> Which one's the, the like? I think Tick's the big one. Okay, Tick's the big one. Or is Talk the big one? See? This is for your new show. Tick Talk. Matt, what, Mohill? What is it? What is your new show called? Oh, make, yeah, uh, uh, Hills to Die On. Hills to Die On. Yeah. Where we get two people with very strongly held opinions about something completely inconsequential, and they, and they fight to the death. Yes, with swords. <laughs> with swords. Sounds like a great show. It does, actually. It's going to be hard to get hosts. <laughs> is it GIF or is it Jeff? I think it's Tick. <gasps> I think it's Tick is the big upgrade, and then we've been talking, talking, talking. Okay. We, we did two talks, and now we're going to get another Tick. Okay. Tick is... <laughs> I didn't get that one. That was Kesha. She Kesha. has a song, Tick Tock. Tick <laughs> Heaven Thank has... Thank you for covering both of the generations the king here. Of I appreciate folklore that. Here. The king of folklore. That is a good yeah. one, yeah. The people's, uh, the people's technical director. Indeed. Uh, like the people's phone, the iPhone 11. So, yeah, I hope that helps you, uh, Tony, from Manhattan, Kansas. I think we settled on why not get the iPhone 11 and then upgrade to the 12 when the time comes. Uh, lastly, a little bit of feedback. This is Jan from somewhere, Indiana. Uh, recognized a hat. Micah, just an FYI, the cap you wore on iOS 464, I sent to the show when Sarah Lane was sitting in your seat. Thank you. It was a pleasure to see you wear it again after all these years. As you and Leo had confusion on the cap, I thought that I would tell you that I bought that hat from a street vendor in Rio de Janeiro at Carnival, thus making it a Brazilian Carnival cap. John, can you put a little sticker or something in there so we'll remember Jan's a gift? I, I should do that anytime people uh, bring us a hat oh, yeah. is put your name in there so we, we can give you credit. That's yeah. nice. So iOS 464 that we uh, published on September 17th, whatever hat I guess I wore last time. I don't quite recall. I don't even. Oh, it was the Bowser looking hat. Ah, oh, from Carnival. Yeah, Brazilian Carnival. Nice. Now, who gave me the hat with the tassel, the big long furry hat with the big long blue thing? Oh, that was definitely Ebenezer. <laughs> Scrooge? Scrooge, yeah. You know, um, Let's take a break and get our hats on. All right. Coming up. But first a word. This is better than a hat. I should have we should have the aftershocks cap. cap.
<laughs> this is my new Aeropex from Aftershocks. I love these. these you, are we gave so you great. some, right? You love yes. them. Yeah. So Aftershocks are the most interesting new headphone technology ever. The idea of the Aftershocks is they don't go in your ear. They go over your ear and they rest on your cheekbone and they do bone conduction. It's a patented bone conduction technology that I was skeptical about, but it really, really works. They're the most comfortable headphones ever, but because they're not in your ear, they also don't block the sound. So you can wear them while you're running or bicycling and not worry about traffic. You'll be able to hear emergency sirens. In some jurisdictions, you can even wear them while you're, uh, while you're driving. Uh, check your local uh, ordinances, of course. <laughs> but I just think this is so great. Now, they also have a microphone, so you get crystal clear phone calls as well. And I'll tell you, I wear these for every conference call because I can wear them. In fact, sometimes I forget to take them off all day. Yeah, I just saw you wearing them the other day for our conference call. Yeah, yeah. it's so great. Wireless Bluetooth 4.1, convenient multi-point pairing. That's really convenient for me because I pair them to everything. <laughs> and that way, whatever device I have, I just fire up the Aftershocks and they're, boom, they're on. IP55 certified. Now, this is the original Aftershocks to repel sweat, dust, and moisture from workouts to bad weather. The new Aeropex has, is even better. Advanced audio, a longer battery life. It's waterproof, submersible, up to one meter deep for 30 minutes. That's the one you want to get if you want to take them in the pool. They charge fast, about an hour and a half, and they have a hassle-free two-year warranty. This titanium band on the back keeps them in place, so they're so comfortable. They never do what your headphones just did when you were, yeah, you know, making out. slow fees. They don't. They don't. Uh, they they just never. You can't. You can't knock them loose. They're just, and you don't even know they're there, which is really great. But the sound is amazing. It truly is. We have a, a special deal on the Aeropex, a tech bundle. You're going to get fifty dollars off. If you go to iostoday.aftershocks.com and use the code IOS today at checkout, you get the whole Aeropex tech bundle. You'll see it there at the website. It's really, really great. Actually, I think they even have a deal on the original Aftershocks as and well. And I just realized that mine match my iPhone too. I've yeah, got the green too. ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got the green ones. You knew, you did know. Huh. You knew I what knew. you were doing. I knew. <laughs> Aftershocks. They do a lot of really neat stuff. Aftershocks. Go to iostoday.aftershocks.com. Dot com and use the code iOS today. You're going to love your Aftershocks or your Aeropex. Unfortunately, the offer is only valid in the U.S., but I'll tell you what, you should get them anyway. Aftershocks. Uh, oh, I forgot. I left them on. So you forget. See, they're so comfy. They, you, don't, you just don't even know they're on. And truly, for phone calls, uh, so great. It's all I do now. Oh, by the way, here's Brazilian Carnival. Hat. Oh, nice. It does look like uh, Brazil. It's the Brazilian flag colors. See, right? I still, I just think of Nintendo. It does look a little Bowsery, too. All right, I'm going to leave my Aftershocks on just to show you can wear your Aftershocks when you're hunting. Be very, very, very quiet. quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. Wabbit <laughs> season. Hello. Hello, Micah Sergeant. Hello, we owe. Why are we wearing our hats? We are wearing our hats because we love apps. <laughs> it's app cap time. <laughs> we award, we honor. We award. <laughs> we award the best app of the week. Each of us chooses one. It's been hard, and I actually have had to make a conscious effort not to choose an arcade app. I think they're I've, so good. They're so. I've been playing a lot of arcade games, mm -hmm. wasting a lot of time. Was up half the night uh, last night building a little village Ooh. in Outlanders. I really enjoyed that. But that, but, but that's not your app. What we should do, and we were thinking about this. Maybe you guys could tell us if you like it. Uh, should we do an arcade pick of the week as well as an app cap? I think we should. There's so many arcade games. I think we should. Yeah, All just right, one. We'll it just won. We'll we'll talk well, and you we'll, and I'll yeah. fight over it. Yeah. Who's gonna win this week? What's your app cap this week? My app cap hold on this a little bit too. <laughs> Can't really speak, feeling a little choked. Um there we go. Much better. Much better. Uh so my app cap is an app that I just found called RNI Films. RNI stands for Really Nice Images. Oh. And this is a plugin that's available for, uh, I think, like Lightroom and Photoshop and things oh. like that. However, they make an app called RNI Films. And basically, what they've done is they've taken the. Um, it's not the, movies, it's film it's, cameras. It's film cameras. They've <sighs> taken the, the, the complex profiles of oh. film 
and all the color adjustments, all of the uh, noise, yeah. all of those things. Because as somebody who used to shoot with film, there's a very big difference between Fuji film mm -hmm. and uh, Kodak. I love the Kodak Tri-X look for black and white. <gasps> yeah, and they use all these profiles to so create excellent, beautiful, gorgeous, Don't wonderful, amazing now. filters. Uh, in fact, so I'm going to go to my Instagram here because I just posted a photo that I R&I filmed after it was taken with my um, iPhone 11 Pro camera. Uh, so I think I showed this a little bit earlier, but oh. this, it, this was, uh, I, I did add the R&I Films filter over it. And so that's a nice like shot. But nice uh, film see. grain. Yeah. Um, and I wish I, I should find the original. And then I'm pretty sure I did the same thing with this photo of my sister. This is my sister's wedding. Oh, that is so a we great picture. Whoever the photographer was. Wow. Actually, you're, you should always have pictures taken when you're dancing. You're very photogenic when you're dancing. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you danced, this is, you danced joyfully. I am a you're joyful, a joyful dancer. dancer. I love dancing. It's yeah, so much fun. Why? Uh, so why. I love me, taking pictures of you dancing. <laughs> uh, let me pop open this Thursday, maybe. Uh, so I'm going to pop open R&I Films here so you can sort of see how the app works. And it's, it's kind of a simple process. So we'll load up a photo. I'll choose recents and uh, we'll do this one that I took earlier um, with a whoa wide angle uh, front facing camera. Now, all down through here, we've got all these different options for different films. This Look is at in that. The, the vintage section. That's Agfa color, which I recognize totally. But there's also negative here, uh, some other film types, I mean, and then oh, oh. slide. And oh, last but not least, let's see. <gasps> of course it does not slide. You'd have to. Oh Fuji, my goodness. Fuji, 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 Fuji. A lot of, so Fuji has a very distinct uh, flesh tones and colors. Let's hmm. see. So some of these are, some of these are, co uh, they cost. Oh, they can't, you know what? They probably can't use the Kodak trademark name. So they're going to use something similar. So I don't think, Ag, I don't even know if Agfa is still around so they can, Fuji is. There's like a Fuji. So Maybe then they licensed it. Oh, that's after I do the the filtering options, then I can come in here and I don't mess with these, but I do like to add a little bit of grain. I can change the nice. scale on the nice. film grain. And then I also like to add, and look, they've got pre and post warm. So these are fairly subtle. Yes. But which I love. Yeah, you don't it doesn't look like you're using a big filter. But I do I also like it that especially if you're looking for kind of a somewhat vintage look. This will resonate with people who have seen you know, these photographs and magazines and things. Add in some fade. So now That's I've got nice. some fade, some dust that I throw through in there. Uh, you can do dust in uh, white where it's added to the photo or black where it's multiplied um, on top of the photo. And then you export it. Now, this is the R on the RNI Films app, but they also have two others here. There's RNI Flashback and RNI Colibri. Um, and I like RNI Colibri because I take a photo again from my album. And uh, let's just do this photo of Henry and me. Um, and I will tap the little uh, button in the middle and it just automatically chooses profiles that it thinks uh, oh. would look great with that photo. And so once again, these are those same um, lens profiles or sorry, film profiles, but you see they've already added in some, it's kind of hard to see on this uh, camera, but they've already added in a little bit of dust and some film grain and Because the they thought that would be best. Because That's they thought nice. that would be best, yeah. So there are, looks like a significant number of film styles for free? Or? Yes, so in the main r &I Films app, there are a significant number of uh, film styles that are available for free uh, within these different filter options. And then as you go to the right, you can see that at this point, then they cost. And the, each, each oh, film pack costs four Oh, that's where they stuck bucks. the Tri-X, I guarantee you, because uh, that's everybody's favorite. And so those ones cost you four bucks, but uh, it's four bucks within each one to unlock those. But after that, you've got everything if nice. you choose to unlock them. And I've just been really happy with like, I could take a photo and then do just tap on one of these things, add a little bit of what I want to it. And then I'm in love with the photo and how it turned out. Um, and so it's just been fun kind of taking some old photos that I have and making them into uh, the, the, you know, what I wanted from it and some new ones here. And let me see if I can find another one that I R and I filmed. Did I do that? No, I didn't do it with those. Um, I'm not. Oh yeah, yeah. This one. So here's another low light shot uh, with the uh, iPhone 11 Pro camera um, with That's with beautiful. night mode turned wow. on. Wow, that really is beautiful. Now, uh, 
credit to my friend who was the photographer who is not Serenity Caldwell. Um, but this uh, originally did not have this uh, filter on there. And so I added that filter and you can see some nice film grain and everything like that. So yeah, anyway, this film has been a lot, uh, or this app is a lot of fun. RNI Films. Nice. Now it is free with in-app purchases for those extra nice. uh, options there. Check it out. I, I, ugh, I love it. I love taking old photos that I've had for a long time doing a little bit of adjustments to them and then, you know, making them new. Well, if you're an old timer like me who shot a lot of film, uh, it'll be fun to see those kind of weird casts again. <laughs> yeah. And that's one thing that I wanted to note with the film sometimes, grain. Sometimes digital is too good. It's too right. perfect. Yeah. yeah. And with the film grain, they don't just do digital noise. They use the profiles that they created with those actual film uh -huh. cameras to add noise. So it's like uh -huh. real noise. Ah, oh, they're so beautiful. Anyway. I like, the, I like the use of dust. I think that's kind of, Me it too. makes it look like a vintage photo. That's very cool. There was one, I, I added a filter to my photo and I kind of looked away and looked back and it literally looked like I was scrolling through my great grandma's like, yeah. photo album. Yeah. It was pretty you, cool. You wouldn't think somebody would want that, but actually sometimes it's kind of nice. Yeah. Digital's too perfect sometimes. Oof, this is hot. Do you remember an app uh, called Umano? Mono Umano? Umano. Umano. Uh, we actually they were an advertiser at one point. Uh, Lisa loved it because it, 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 they took uh, news articles and read them to you. Oh. And they had human readers. And so it was great for her because when she's exercising, she wants to keep up with the news, but she can't be using a laptop, obviously. Mm -hmm. So she would listen to these articles. Oh, I like that. When this came out, Curio... I thought Lisa is going to be very happy about it. Now, this is not free. You can get a free one-week trial. And it does seem to be focused on UK publications. Here's Financial oh, Times, The Guardian. But there's also Bloomberg in here. And what's great is uh, they are at an Eon magazine, which always has some really interesting think pieces. They are read by very good readers. So oh, you don't have to have a subscription what if your this scares me. is an illusion created this by your concept. brain? Writing in Eon magazine, Keith Frankish explains why our brain makes up consciousness in order I to help track the sights, the sounds, BBC and style announcing. we associate with the world. Read by Jonathan Booth. For Curio. In the 1999 so they're spending the some money to get really good narrators and so I assume a lot the of cost comes from yeah so. exactly because a lot of this stuff Financial Times Bloomberg behind paywalls mm -hmm. so it's <laughs> which by the way drives me crazy there's a lot of Financial Times articles I'd love to read now not every article's on here this is very much a curated collection but for people like us I think these are articles people with kind of a tech bent and I think this is these are really well curated. Now, I've already seen like three that I want to look at. Exactly. <laughs> this one's fantastic. It's a there's a famous mathematician named Penrose. Penrose garnered public renown on a scale rarely seen in mathematics. Schechtman won the Nobel Prize. Both scientists defied human intuition. I'm in the middle of this article. Now, do they let you see the text, design. or is it only ever? Ah, happened? that's an interesting question. I have never seen the text, so I'm going to say maybe not. But let's see. There's a lot of dots. Add to cue. Oh, yes, you can. Read along. Excellent. So I do like that. So this is going to go to the website for that article. And then... Now, is it paywalled or do they... Well, that's a good question. I should go to the Financial Times. I bet you not. I mean, they're getting they paid. Have a special link or something. Yeah, they're getting paid. So uh, there's a fairly large library... Uh, I'm sorry, this is the stuff I've bookmarked. There's a fairly large library of features you can listen to in a lot of categories, including fiction. Oh. So if you like audio books. Oh, poetry even. There's poetry, poetry as well. Poetry even. Yeah. I think this is really interesting. Now, it's not free. It's 7 bucks a month, uh, although for 60 bucks you can get a year. And I think it's it's uh, absolutely, actually 8 bucks a month. Uh, I think it's absolutely worth $60 a year. Here's a Margaret Atwood piece. Oh, they do have a free option, too, with you, you, eight tracks. Yeah, okay. So, And then you get a week free of the premium uh, version as well. So uh, I'm I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. I think this is a, a really nicely designed. Yeah. And I particularly like two things about it. The curation is very good. I, I think the choices they're making of... Oh, there's uh, a Financial Times 
Yeah, should we just see if we can read along? Let's let's start listening. Consumer complaints about the impact. I love the British voices. They're not always, but is adapting fast. I think the American stuff they do in American voice and the British stuff. Fueled by big industry. Ah, are we being paywall. distracted from the real? So you can only read along if you have a subscription to the Financial Times, but you can't hear it. I guess the point is to listen. Yeah, you might. This I put this on my phone. I might listen in the car. So I know there's a lot of things that uh, we have to listen to. There's podcasts. There's audio books. But one thing that's always been missing, at least since Umano went away is the idea that you could listen to current stuff. Mm -hmm. You could get a, a machine to read it, you know, a, a synthesized voice, but I think there's something like about that. a real reader doing a great job, and they obviously are spending some energy on that. So these are more like magazine articles. It's not super topical. Um, here's this one. I, I can't wait to read this from JSTOR Ooh. Daily, The Life-Changing <gasps> Linguistics... Of All Nigerian you Scam Emails. You say the word linguistics, and I'm immediately sold. I'm like, tell me more are one of the internet's oldest tricks. But how can something that seems so obviously fake manage to fool someone? They got it. Writing in JSTOR Daily, people. Chi Lu explains how the combination of polite and eccentric is enough to win over unsuspecting recipients. Don't you want to listen to that? Heavens yes. Yeah. Now, Where will humans live if Earth becomes uninhabitable? Oh, boy. It would be great if they tied this in with uh, all the series stuff. Now, what about Nikki? What's going on? Uh, anyway. She's retiring. Oh, well, that, that's it, that's probably a good idea. Um, <laughs> if I could say, hey, Siri, what's the news today? I want Nikki and to then read this. this one. Oh, that would be great. Okay, I'm telling you what I'm going to do. That's <laughs> not a, there we go. That's Nikki. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to quit. That's not Nikki, though. She talks kind of like Brooklyn Bronx, kind of with a little Puerto Rican mixed in. It's a very good accent. I wish I could do it. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah? You you learn the Scottish accent. Mm -hmm. I'll, next week, I'll do my Nikki. You're going to do Nikki next week? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be all that. <laughs> so, this is Curio, C U R I O. Uh, it's, I mean, I think the curation is excellent, and I guess that's what they're Wait, focusing against on. against neurodiversity? Once, see, look, I'm sold. Yeah. Why the neurodiversity movement overlooks those, oops, struggling with autism. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. So this is controversial, obviously, uh, but I think w these, are, these are magazine pieces. Oh. Magazine pieces, right? Here's Fast Company's interview with... Edward Snowden. Scientists are racing to re-engineer the banana yeah. before it's, it's gone. It's scary. Forever. It's a monoculture. It's scary. Not good. That's why diversity. D yes. Did In you, all things. Did you know the flavor of banana Laffy Taffy or other banana licorices or other fake banana things are actually the flavor of a banana, but it's a banana that we don't have in the United States anymore. And so when people are like, ah, oh, that tastes like so fake banana. Artificial. No, it's real yeah. banana. It's just not the bananas we have. It's actually an Esther. Yes, yes <laughs> Esther Williams. <laughs> it's a banana Esther, but that's a long story and we won't go into it. We don't have time. I think it's time to say goodbye to all our family. Goodbye for now. <laughs> we do this friend. show, iOS Today. We do this thing we call iOS Today every Tuesday <laughs> at uh, 9 a.m. Tuesday. Tuesday, every 9 a.m. Pacific time. I <laughs> think it's more like 9.30. Uh, thereabouts. Uh, yeah. That would be uh, 12.30 Eastern time, mm. 16.30 in the U and T and C zones. If you would like to listen or watch live, there's a couple of things you could do. You could say to your Echo, yo, Echo, <laughs> play Twit Live. Mm -hmm. And it will just play whatever's going on live at that time, which would be us. Or you can say, you can go to twit.tv slash live and you can watch or listen live because we do video and audio. Uh, and if you're doing that, go in the chat room, irc.twit.tv and go. <laughs> How do you write that? <laughs> B-R-R-R-R-T. Uh, if you're in the chat room, uh, there's nice people in there. It's family friendly and it's a great way to participate behind the scenes. We're always watching the chat room and I steal my best jokes from them. Yeah. Uh, every time. Uh, we can also uh, make available for a small fee, nothing. <laughs> a small fee of a, your pride. Your pride, because you have to listen. Uh, the show is a downloadable. It's called a podcast and you can get it by going to twit.tv slash iOS. Again, audio or video. I know your time is 
valuable. So pick the pick the one that works for you. We don't mind. Uh, although, if your time's valuable, really what you ought to do is go to your favorite podcast application and subscribe. subscribe. Then you don't have to do anything. It just appears on your it's phone. Like, wow, magical. Just way. listen whenever you feel like it. How would people, if they wish to submit a thought or a question, how would they do that? Well, if they want to submit a thought, a question, a feedback, um, a meditation, they can email us at iostoday at twit.tv. That can be in text form. It can be in audio form. It can be in video form. You make the choice if it's video. Try to keep it around 30 seconds so we don't have to do too much cutting. Um, but we do appreciate your questions in video, audio. So great to see form. you or hear you. Yeah, it is. It's it's quite nice to have you join us on, on the show. iOS Today at twit.tv. That's Micah Sargent. And that is Leo Laporte. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on iOS Today.